Peace of Christ to all and welcome everybody. Today uh, we started with the Chinese uh, music to prepare you for the spiritual occasion and because we will speak about someone is very very special and that is the best of mankind and you know when we speak about the best of mankind we have we have no choice but to prepare you in a certain way yeah uh, Wong he's with us he is a Chinese I, I'm sure he Wong he understand exactly what I was saying I was saying may Allah salli as uh, Allah you know pray on Muhammad and salute him in Chinese you know the Muslims they keep posting everywhere making article about Muhammad the best of mankind Muhammad is the best of mankind but the question is Muhammad is the best of mankind in what exactly any Muslim can tell us You Muslim keep repeating Muhammad is the best of mankind. He was the best in what? In science, in love, in dating, in mathematics. He was in best in what? You have to give us definition. What best you are talking about? Do we have any Muslim yet with us? maybe he can give us a help if I say I am the best of mankind I cannot cut the sentence and stop I have to say the best of mankind in what so what is the best of mankind about Muhammad do we have any Muslim here would like to tell us Any Muslim? Muhammad was a rapist. 
He was a thief. He was a liar. He was a cheater. He was a criminal. Name for me one filthy thing a human being can do and Muhammad did not do. Chanish. So what is making Muhammad the best of mankind? This is the question. I'm not against Muslims to say whatever they want to say, but can you prove it to us? Muhammad is the best of mankind. Why? What exactly happened? Anyone have an idea? Let us show you an article written by Muslims speaking about Muhammad, the best of mankind. Even his name is written in a very weird way. Look at this name, guys. Look at this name. I mean, the name is written like even his name, they have to worship it and they have to make art about it. The name is written in all kind of way. Look, Arabic, in English. They cannot even write his name normally because he's God. Prophet Muhammad was the final prophet in the long chain of prophets sent by Allah Almighty. Long chain. Prophets are chains and they are sent by Allah Almighty. But we never saw one prophet was sent by Allah except the one you Muslims, you call him Muhammad. Where is the books of Allah? Muslims, your God Allah, he sent the prophets. According to Muslims, Allah, he sent 124,000 prophets. Where is the books of Allah? Allah have lost or had lost 124,000 books. And yet they, they call him almighty. What kind of almighty? He sent books, but he cannot preserve. Imagine I have many books and then you say to me, okay, show me one of yours. I say to you, I lost them all. And then I call myself the Almighty. The one who nobody can change my words. You know what I mean? So Muhammad is the last prophet in the chain of the prophets. And why Muhammad is the last prophet? What? Allah, he went to take a nap. That's it. Muhammad is the last prophet. That's it. Allah decided to send no prophet after that. So now for the coming 10 billion years, Allah will not send a prophet because that's it. Muhammad is then the one done the job. What Muhammad did? He taught us how to wash our ass. This is what the hadith says. The Arabs say to the Muslim, the, your prophet, he is teaching you everything, including how to do shit. He said, yes, including how to do shit. Which means the Arab before that do not know how to do shit. I think, I think my grand grandfather, the Arab, before that Muhammad, Muhammad came, I think we used to do it from our nose. We do not know how to do shit. The Prophet, peace upon him, is the one who taught us how to do shit. Before that, we used to do it from our ears, from our nose, from under arm. I mean, it was coming from everywhere. Let us, let, let us take a, a brief look at the beautiful personality of the Prophet Muhammad. What, what? The beautiful what? Personality of the Prophet Muhammad. And some of his outstanding quality. Are an example for mankind. Okay. Indeed, the messenger of Allah, you have an excellent example to follow for whom for him who hopes in Allah. Who is the one saying that Allah supposedly speaking about? Have you ever heard of God? He worship a man and he says to him, You are the best example. I thought the best example to follow is Allah, because the teaching is coming from Allah, not from Muhammad. No, not in Islam. The best example to follow is Muhammad himself and Allah himself, he follow Muhammad. Let us see the best example the Muslims they have. Is it true 
that the Quran speak that Muhammad his wives was fighting and Muhammad instead of solving the problem he threatened them he would divorce them they were fighting with him they are striking against him is that, cor is that correct <clears throat> Let us see the best of mankind starting from inside inside his house the best of mankind is the man who keep having more and more women because simply he is a very romantic person one woman is not enough for him the best of mankind is the one who discriminate his women and favor some women upon other women the best of mankind is the man who stopped with spe sleeping with his wife because she is getting old, but yet he want to sleep with the younger child, one Aisha. And not only that, they force the poor women to give her day to Aisha. In tatuba ilallahi faqad asagat qulubakuma wa in tadahara alayhi fa inna allaha huwa mawlahu wa jibreelu wa salihu. Let us read the translation. Why want to waste our time? All those stupid abdul do not even read Arabic. Chapter 66, verse number 44. Read with me and die from laughing. But don't die now. I mean, I'm just... It's a statement, you know what I mean? The Muslim, they will take it literally. The, the, the wives of Muhammad, they became two party. Democrat and Republican. But both of them now is against Muhammad. Muhammad, the corrupt man striking against him Allah he made a chapter in the Quran accusing the wives of Muhammad that they are we became kuffar like, why became kuffar what happened this is serious crime you see the Muslim translation is very funny if you go in Arabic it says which means your heart became the heart of kuffar. What happened here exactly? What is the story? The women, they are complaining for the injustice of the filthy husband. So Muhammad, he made verses which he copied from Umar al khattab and we can show you the reference where Umar he said Allah he took that from me this is what Umar said Umar al khattab he said that so he said if you don't both bo both party if you don't repent for your heart became a heart of kuffar and you back each other against him against who against the prophet you can tell me man guys why women the wives of the prophet they are backing each other against muhammad if muhammad was a good guy for them any muslim want to tell me why the wives of muhammad they have a strike and united the front against the prophet peace upon him the man who is the best of mankind to his wives. Who is better than Muhammad to his wives? Nobody. Who is better than Muhammad to his family? Nobody. Who is better to a woman as a wife and husband in the world according to Muslim? Muhammad. Okay, here we go. Muhammad himself, his house is collapsing. This guy, he could not solve his problems. So he needed help from Allah and Allah sent in the rescue making a verse to threat to divorce them not to solve the problem He did not solve the problem. He says if you don't stop I will divorce you I will exchange you And not only that I mean look how complicated this fight is you see, guys, the Muslim they say to us, Muhammad was a genius man. This genius man, he created a genius verse, saying to his wives, Look who is going to take my side if you go against me. Who is going to take your side? Hold on, they are coming. Allah. 
and Jibreel and the believers and the angels. <laughs> This is because Muhammad fighting with his wives, Allah and Jibreel and 1.5 billion Muslims and all the angels will take the side of the Prophet against two women or two women party, sorry. I mean, do you see how Muhammad was the best of mankind? Do you see how he solved the problem? Did he sit with his wife? He says, what the problem? Let us discuss. Let us see what's wrong. No, he's making a threat. But the third. Once upon the time, the wife of the prophet, they've been misguided by the Satan. And they tried to win strike against him. The same you see at the strike for the train station in France. You hear the news that the labor union is making a strike. This is exactly what the wife of the prophet they did. They make a strike and they were throwing rocks at the heart of the prophet. The prophet, because he is the best of mankind, he did not care what is the problem. He made a verse for them saying, Allah, he sent the verse and he told him, if they don't behave, I'm going to replace them with better quality women. Women with the four boobs. <laughs> This is the best of mankind. The best of mankind. What is the business of Allah to make a verse? I mean, how weak this God and how weak this religion and how weak this prophet. To the point he needs the support. Count me, please. Count. The creator of the universe is involved. His nose is there. You see, Muhammad have a fight with his wife. Allah is there. And he, he is his guardian. But hold on. Allah is not enough because Allah is short. As the hadith describe him, he is short, he is fat, he have a big ass. So he cannot do anything. So Muhammad is not stopping there. Allah is his garden and because Allah is not enough, man. I mean, who is Allah? Are you kidding me? Those are women. Women are very aggressive. Allah cannot stop them. So he need more help. And Jibreel. Jibreel have 600 wings. The angel Jibreel, my friend, according to Muhammad, he has 600. I don't know how he counted them, but let it go. Angel Jibreel have 600 wings, but hold on, it's still not enough. According to Muhammad, Jibreel, when he come down to the earth, he covered the horizon. I mean, look how big, look how big, man. Still, he cannot fight those women. It's not enough. So Muhammad did not stop there. And the believers, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, the Mujahideen, Hamas, everybody is taking arms now, getting ready to defend the Prophet against his wives. But still, hold on, this is not enough. Not enough. And all the angels together. Ish, 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 ish. It sounds like third world war. I mean, who is left? Who is left in this, in the earth and in the heaven is not involved in this fight. And this is the best of mankind who could not be fair inside his house. Do we have any Muslim here? He have something to say. Anyone? This is the best of mankind. Anyone who don't agree with us that this is stupid and this is not really what the best of mankind can do. This is not a man of his house. This is a guy who is a potato. He is using God in his favor to silence those women. But guys, in order to understand the situation of Muhammad, we have to take you in the mood of inspiration. What happened? What happened exactly? Let us try to find a way to get you close to understand what's happening.
you know, I like uh, I like certain way of education. Let us see. We start from the beginning. Once upon the time, there was a very decent prophet. He was so busy. His bed is full of women. Some are naked, and some are ready to get ready. And because the bed became so busy, and the house is full of women, he lost control. Put yourself in his shoes and imagine. All right. Now we give you an idea about the horrible life of Muhammad, the one who had no time. To women he's a prophet of God he's so busy he receiving inspiration every five seconds actually I heard that the prophet according to the hadith he used to receive inspiration in the sound of a bell but I'm not sure how he was able to translate the Quran after he received it in the sound of a bell I'm just guessing All right, all right, I got it. Allah, guys, he just delivered for me a message saying that if you, my wives, don't behave, Allah will destroy you and he is going to divorce you or replace you with better wives and more new, brand new virgins. Hold on, hold on. I think there's more messages coming. Allahu Akbar, this is beautiful and not only that he promised me that those wives they will be blondie and he just went me the picture Let me put the pictures for you in the screen. Here we go. They are there Not like you Arab women with the black hair They are blonde little really blonde. I Mean what the heck? This prophet even God is involving in his household fight God and the angels and the believers and everybody it's just a it's just a wife wives and husband they are fighting what is the business of this god and why he don't try to solve the problem why he is making a threat that he will replace them and they will take a side and look here maybe his lord maybe his lord who's talking for the sake of allah I think Muhammad here he got this translation wrong. I think the code of Morris did not say that. Let us play it again. Uh huh. No. It's right. It says maybe his Lord. Have you ever heard of God speaking, saying maybe his Lord, if he divorce you? If Allah is talking, how in the world he say maybe his Lord? And Abdul can tell me if Allah is the one is talking, how Allah he say maybe his war his Lord. Who is the one is talking? Allah. Allah is saying maybe his Lord. 
maybe if his lord if he divorce you will give him in your place better than you what does that mean exactly and guys who is the better than them women who they are submissive submissive faithful what the heck obedient man patient a durer faster -er, widows or virgins look here guys we have a cook we have a cocktail muhammad he preferred cocktail virgins or widows i mean allah have to mention if the situation of their vagina you see allah in here he mentioned to us what kind of women he will give him women who have a brand new vagina or a women who have a used vagina so allah he put all the choices open for the prophet so maybe maybe his lord his lord he divorce you he might replace you he with better wives than you which is submissive very important to be submissive it's very important for a woman to be a goat meh, meh. you know submissive you have to be submissive hey come on Muslims, the best of mankind, he is not solving his house problem. He is threatening his wives to replace them all in one. Day. Have you ever heard of a, of a load of divorce? I mean, a guy, he divorced all the wives in one day. People, are you listening to what I'm saying? Here he is not a threatening one woman to divorce her. He is threatening all the wives to be divorced, all of them, in one in in one shot. They must be all wrong, and he is the right one. I mean, this is Muhammad. No way. There is no way the women are right. So Muhammad, he cannot solve his household problem. So what he do? He want to divorce them all. In one shot bingo outside and if we go and check we will find that this statement here is exactly what Umar ibn al-Khattab he said in the hadith even Umar he said that Allah he agree with me in three things one of them is this one Muhammad he like it he took it he copied it he made it made it Quran and the funny the Muslim they say to us can you make Quran like this if Muhammad himself is copying Quran from our Khattab now we go back to the best of mankind so the best of mankind he have a wives who they are complaining his about his crazy and unjust behavior and the wives all of them with no exception they are striking against him. Muhammad, he give up. He needed help. And always the help come from Allah. I mean, who can give better help than Allah? We have to be honest here. We have to think about it carefully. Muhammad always he got the right help in the right time in the right place Allah is always there for him do we have any Muslim would like to give me a call let me be sure first that my my Skype is on hold on where is my Skype All right. Let us log in Skype. So the Muslims, you know, their voice can be heard. I don't want the Muslim to say, oh, like, you know, this is guy, he is saying things is not true. He's making things up or, you know, you know them. 
you know them very well so um All right, Skype is on. Ten reason Prophet Muhammad was the best. Somebody send me a link. Ten reason Muhammad was the best. Should I open it? I don't know. Ten reason Muhammad was the best. Really? Are you serious? Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, anyway, uh, we know all those reasons. They are copy for the same article we are reading. You know, Muslims, they are copying from each other. The best of mankind, one of the statement of Muhammad is the one who said he is the, the best of mankind is the one who is the best to his wives. But Muhammad is not the best of his wives. Muhammad, he fell in his own category. He is the one you see Muhammad. He make a statement trying to me to be Confucius. What is his name Confucius? Huh? So he tried to make himself like he is a wise man The best of you is the one who don't hurt his people around him The best of you is the one who don't hurt people with his tongue But Muhammad used to say the F word Muhammad used to say to people go and suck the clitoris of your mother Muhammad, he said, the one who is proud about his father, tell him and go and sick the penis of your dad. Muhammad did not teach people good manner. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He said to his somebody or to his followers that if somebody is proud of his inheritance, of his family, of his father, go and tell him. Go and suck the clitoris of your mother or suck the penis of your father? That is the best of mankind. If this is the best of mankind, then what is the worst of the mankind? This is just an example of the stupidity of Islam. Islam is religion. What does this have to do with the Muslims? Guys, what does this have to do with the Muslims? Let us say Muhammad is a prophet of God for the Muslims. What this private life of Muhammad is doing in the Quran? You know what I mean? What if I am a Muslim now, what I learned from this, that Muhammad have a fight with his wives and Allah put in his nose between the man and the, the husband and the wives. And Muhammad is saying that Allah, he said to me, if you don't behave, I'm going to send the assistant to Muhammad. And that is including me and the driver, Allah. And Jibreel is the second bus driver. And all the Muslims, 1.5 billion. And all the angels to support him against you. All of this army to fight few short women, they are not even five foot tall. And this is the best solution Muhammad he have is to threat them that Allah will divorce them for, for, for and replace them with better women who have a brand new vagina and some of them they have a used vagina. Maybe his Lord. If he divorces you, we'll give him in your place. What in your place? It doesn't say in your place. It doesn't say in your place. Abdul, let me show you what it says. Hold on. Huh? It says in exchange. Allah will exchange the wives for him. Why? They are parts, they are toys. Exchange. I mean, this God is obviously all wise, and this prophet is the best of mankind. Do we have any Muslim in the bushes? Hmm? 
and I like it when Muhammad he says something he is not sure what is next you see it may happen that his Lord Allah obviously it's Allah is talking obviously it's not Muhammad it may happen uh, like what Allah is not sure if it's going to happen or not it may happen huh that's we exchange you for better women who they are subdued submissive they like beating and treated like garbage this is the solution of the best of mankind any abdul And guys, the Quran, as usual, is the most stupid book. I mean, what these verses, those two verses here, have to do with the verses after? Anybody can tell me? What those verses here have to do with the verses before? I mean, what this have to do with this? Do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? All Muslims are welcome. <clears throat> Obviously, Islam is religion of wisdom and Muhammad is a great man. So Muhammad was a horrible inside his house. What about Muhammad? Even is not being fair not only inside the house. I mean regarding being fair with his wife and normal stuff Even in gifts The wives they complain that Muhammad he received gifts only when he is in the house of Aisha Which means Aisha she is the one who take all the gifts and the gift is nothing but a bribe a bribe for the decent prophet Why the prophet even taking gifts and why people giving gifts to the prophet don't give it to someone else it's a bribe because Muhammad is a ruler is a king who claimed to be a prophet he rule now so the the gift is nothing but a bribe and this bribe come only when he is in the house of Aisha the wives they send even one of his the wife his stepdaughters the wife of uh, the daughter of his wife Khadija and they ask her to speak to him talk to him I mean this is not fair why he is only taking the gifts in the house of Aisha this is not fair we are his wives too we deserve to have gifts they are fighting over gifts too this is a different story now Muhammad is still don't care what he said to them he said to her oh don't hurt me in Aisha what don't hurt me in Aisha. Allah never sent to me Quran except in the clothes of Aisha. All right. Let us see if we can find the hate in English. <clears throat> okay. Here we go guys read the story with me the people used to send the prison to the prophet in the day of Aisha the prophet is like a goat who goes between his wives you know like you know like a goat Aisha said my companions ie the other wives of the prophet gathered in the in, in the house of Ummu Salama the wives of Muhammad the chickens they have a, a, a conference meeting 
and they decide to discuss a very serious matter. What is a serious matter? Oh, Ummu Salama, by Allah, the people it choose to send the present on the day of Aisha. Anyone knows why they send it in the day of Aisha? Because they knew that this is his favorite wife. And if they give the gifts to Aisha, Aisha, she will use her authority. She is the young teen girl, youth. She will sit in his lap and she will say to him, this guy, he gave us a gift. Come on, agree with him. Hmm? If they give the gift in the other wife, he might don't even respond. Who care? I mean, people give him gift. They like it. They don't. But in the house of Aisha, Aisha, she will force things to happen. And we love to the good IE present as Aisha does. So they complain to Muhammad. They complain first time, second time, third time. And then Muhammad, he don't care. And at the end, he said to them, cut the crap. Let me, let me take it from the end. I will not do what you want. The gifts will come to the house of Aisha. Don't hurt me in Aisha. She is my favorite. The divine inspiration never come to me while I am under any blanket. What a blanket. Guys, the guy here receive inspiration only when he is under a blanket of any woman among you except her. That's a, that's a pure lie. Because first of all, it doesn't say blanket, it says thobe. Thobe means cloth, dress. Didn't Muhammad he said that Muhammad he received Quran first time when he was in the house of Khadija? Muhammad never received Quran unless he is wearing the clothes of Aisha. But he was Aisha. Is not his first wife. So the Quran was receiving before it was coming. How? Don't hurt me in Aisha. So he don't care for being just. He don't care. He want the, all the gifts to go to the house of Aisha and not to be just with the other wives. What about you forced of people that if you want to send me a, 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 all what the women are asking for? That he should order the people that to send gift wherever he is. When they want to send a gift, give it to me in any house I am, not only in the house of Aisha. This is what, what they want. They want him to be fair. He don't care. This is the best of mankind. Now we can count the best of mankind, how he was the best, like when he did rip a woman two parts when she was alive. When he stole an underwear, when he took his own son wife, when he went to his own son uh, uh, wife when the husband is not there and he flirt with her. You see the best of mankind? He went to the house of the son, his son, the one who he adopted him. And he went there and he flirted with the wife who, who saw her standing tall. And she was white and sexy. And what Muhammad he said to her, he said with loud voice, Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart to flip for you. What a great prophet, the best of mankind. The best of mankind, Muslims, is the one who go inside the house of somebody and the husband is not there and he flirt with the wife. Is that the best of mankind? Any Muslim? Is that really the behave of a of a best of mankind or the worst of mankind? Imagine your father come to your house and he flirt with your wife. What you will say about your father?
you know there are some people in the text they want to teach us good manner uh, uh, teach them don't mock them teach them don't mock them teach them don't mock them I mean we got it what about you teach them and don't mock them too because you are mocking us by repeating the same text you keep saying we are talking about Muhammad we are not talking about the Muslims what why you keep saying teach them don't mock them Do we have any Muslim here would like to call us? Any beautiful Muslim want to explain to us why your prophet is not even being fair in a very simple manner in his life? Is it true that the Muslims accuse your prophet that he's stolen underwear? Is that the best of mankind he was accused by the Muslim that he is a thief and yes he's a thief because if you go and read the story you will see that this is a clothing the Muslims they stole by attacking a caravan and now they are accusing the head of the thief that he took an underwear this is the best of mankind and guys always Allah which is Muhammad, Akka Muhammad. He make chapters that are the most funny, hilarious ones. I find them really hilarious. If you go, you will see Allah, he make a verse to defend that Muhammad is not the one who took the underwear. So what he said, look look what he said. وَمَا كَانَ لِنَبِيٍ أَنْ يَغُلْ وَمَنْ يَغُلُ لُيَأْتِي بِمَا غَلَّ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ What the heck? What does that mean? What does that mean? No prophet could ever be false in his trust. It doesn't say that, you liar. It says, Yagul. No prophet could be a thief. If any person of you, he is a thief, he shall in the day of judgment bring it back with him and he will be punished for that. All right. So now who is the one who took the underwear? Have you ever heard of a God? He want to prove that his prophet is not the one who stole the underwear. So he say it is not the prophet who took it. What about you tell us who is the one who took it? Allah here is playing. Hold on. Allah is playing who now? Wait. Let me find you the best way to present Allah. Uh, <clears throat> Allah in this verse in this chapter he present exactly the pink panther. Allah was home. He received a phone call. And the phone call. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Oui. Allo, Mohamed? Uh-huh. Uh, uh huh. We, oui, we. Oui. Oh, and they to one. Uh huh. Cato, okay. Uh huh, okay. Oh. Okay. Au revoir. So Allah, he received a phone call. Saying that somebody accused his prophet that he stole an underwear. How horrible. You accuse my prophet, my favorite man, the best of mankind, that he stole an underwear. Shame on you. And Allah decide to clear the record 
of the Prophet Muhammad. His file is clean. This guy, he did not steal it. So Allah, he was like, really like, what the heck? How dare you to say that about the Prophet? How dare you? So Allah, he hired the best detectives in the world to find the missing underwear. And one after one, they try to find where we can locate this underwear. But sadly, all of them, they fail. And guess what? Allah himself, he don't know what is the underwear. So all what he did, he said, well, you accuse the prophet that he took the underwear. It's not for a prophet to take the underwear. And until now, we do not know who is the one who took the underwear. Guys, this guy, football, he's a Muslim, he's a potato. He's a plain that he's a Muslim. Don't you know them? The Muslims, because they are ashamed of their religion, they, they come to our chat and right away they play atheist. A Muslim, he go to my chat and he said to me, I'm a Catholic. Uh, I am a Baptist. You know, yeah, get lost. I know you. He is not a Muslim, but he is upset because we are spanking Muhammad for his lies. You see how upset he is? You are a blind by Christian Prince. Christian Prince is showing you the reference, you idiot, in the screen. Be careful from those Abdul. They are not really, you know, they play games. They go to chat rooms full of Protestant. They say, hey, I am a Catholic. We, we hate the Protestant. Just to make the Protestant, you know, they, they play the devil. Be careful. This is why... I don't allow people here to be divided because the devil really would take advantage of you. Don't be stupid. So if Muhammad is a prophet and Allah is God, shouldn't Allah tell the people who is the one who took the underwear? Until now, we do not know who is the one who took it. Until now, this case is open. You believe it? Until now, what? it's not solved. I, I don't care, guys. Don't tell me about this guy, football and football. I don't care. I have more things important to be busy about. We are looking for an underwear now, for God's sake. Don't you see? Like, come on. Show respect to the underwear is missing. Allah himself is involved in this underwear. And you are texting me to tell me about a guy. Where is the respect in this world? God, the Almighty, himself is busy trying to figure out who is this idiot who took the underwear. And look, guys, this underwear is red. It is not for any prophet to embezzle. What embezzle mean? I don't. My English is English is not my first language. Somebody can tell me what embezzle mean. What embezzle is that? Is that thief to steal? Is that to, th to steal? Abu Umar Muhammad ibn etc. ibn etc. ibn etc. said that Ibn Abbas who said some red velvet acquired as the booty from the adulterer imagine guys they are fighting over what they stole it it's a theft so now muhammad accusing the thieves are accusing muhammad to steal from the thieves this is a piece of a clothes they the muslim they stole and look how important it is i mean a person who attack a caravan an army who attack a caravan, they remember there's a red velvet is missing. Guess what? I'm just guessing. I'm not sure. I think this velvet was made maybe 
I don't know. You know, I don't wanna I don't wanna say something, maybe it's not right. I don't know. You know, I, I, sometime maybe it is Victoria's secret. Panty. Maybe. And the prophet, he love it. And he want to give it to one of his girlfriends. The prophet, he took it. And, you know, the question is why the Muslim is accusing their prophet of a, of a theft. And why it's so important to know who is the one who took this red velvet. Imagine, based on the Muslim's interpretation, Allah, the Almighty God, He decided to make a chapter in the Quran speaking about the missing and the where, which is a theft. How could He not be embezzled? I'm not sure if I'm saying correct. When He used to be killed, Allah the Exalted, He says. And the slow the prophet wrongfully. Look how they mix interpretation together. They quote verses from here and from there. Rather, the hypocrites accuse the prophet. The Muslims are hypocrites. Those are Muslims. Allah bless him and give him peace of taking of to himself some of the booty and Allah exalted. He revealed it's not for a prophet to steal, you idiot. The prophet did not take the underwear. Muslims, shouldn't Allah tell us who is the one who took that underwear and that will solve the whole problem? We go to his house, huh? and if he is wearing it, we ask him to take off his clothes. And that will be an amazing inspiration from Allah. What Allah, if Allah, he sent, instead of all this garbage, he sent a message to Muhammad saying to him, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm receiving I'm receiving inspiration from Allah. It's coming. Okay, I want you Mujahideen to go right now to the house of Michael Jackson because he is the one is wearing the underwear. You take off his jeans and you will find he is wearing the Muslim. They go there, they force Michael Jackson to take off his pants and they see that he is wearing the underwear. Bingo. The problem is solved. But Allah here is saying it's not Muhammad who took it, but who is the one who took it? Until now, the search is still going. Until now. The pink panther trying to figure out who is the one who took who took the underwear. It's not easy to be Prophet Muhammad, the best of mankind. Imagine how much bad people there was to be used to be to Muhammad. They accuse the Muslims, the Muslim, my brother, they accuse the Prophet that he is still in underwear. What Muhammad will do if he is exist in the age of Victoria's Secret? If we send Muhammad to the mall and he walk in the mall and he saw a store covered in the front with women panties. Any Abdul? I don't know. I'm really, I'm really disappointed of you Muslims accusing your prophet that he stole an underwear. At least he stole, accuse him that he stole a jeans. Accuse him that he stole a wallet. Accuse him that he stole a knife or a gun. I mean an underwear. What the American, they will say about us now, the Arab. I am an Arab now. Muhammad is an Arab like me. Nobody is going to invite me to his house anymore. Because those American people, Australian, Canadian, uh, Asian, they will be worried now if I go to their house that I'm going to steal the underwear. 
So now if I go to the houses of those people, they will say, oh, okay, Muhammad is an Arab, Christian prince is an Arab. A Christian prince is coming to his our house. Everyone will tell his, his wife, please hide all the panties you have. Honey, why I want to hide the panties? This is an Arab. Christian prince is an Arab. Don't you get it? It took like it's a habit, tradition. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, correction, correction. Not all the Arab they like panties. Some of us we like bra. Some of us we like panties. It's a correction I receive in inspiration right now from Allah. Uh huh. Yeah, and some of us they like shoes. You know, you remember Muhammad when he stole the sandals of the Jew, and all of this is written in the Muslim books. Even sandals. He killed the Jewish man, he took his sandals, and he stole his donkey. So let me tell you, if you invite me to your house, you have to be careful. You hide all the sandals, panties, a bra, what else? Donkeys. Any Abdul? And you know, by the way, the funny, the Muslim, they make fun of my English. Why? Because I do not know how to say Damberger, Damberger, Yes, yes, this, yes, yes, Damberger. No, no, no. I want to learn English. The Damberger. Your prophet do not you know, even know how to say his name correctly, man. Muhammad, the funny, the Muslim, they said to us that Muhammad, he said, go and seek knowledge in China. We cannot find this hadith, can we? We can find it in a book. It says that this is a fabrication hadith. But the Muslims, because this hadith make their prophet look like a, something you know they copy it and they paste it everywhere but there's we cannot find this hadith a man who said go and seek knowledge even in china is a thief he is illiterate can't muhammad spend two weeks of his times to learn how to write his name In Sweden, they give already give their underwear themselves. What does that mean? I'm not sure what does that mean. Do we have any Abdul? All right, as long as we talk about the Prophet and he is an amazing man, we take a break. So you can guys meditate with all the information we give you. As you notice, all the information we give you, it's beautiful and amazing. So today, we are going to practice something new. I want you to close your eyes and imagine yourself a rabbit. And now you as a rabbit is thinking about the amazing Prophet Muhammad. The most amazing man. The Prophet who suffered. Accusation of his thin underwear. The prophet who was suffering from sleeping with 13 wives every day. You can imagine how much work is done. How sad. The prophet who is against the slavery, but he owned tons of slaves. The prophet who loved animals, but he killed dogs, lizards, and any animal as a black. Amazing. 
the prophet of mercy who said a woman she gave water to a dog she will go to heaven but is it him who said kill the dogs Astonishing. Guys, if you notice with me, Thank you. Dun. I like that. that dun. If you notice with me, this rabbit is really meditating and thinking right now about converting to Islam. I told you yesterday the story about the lizard who converted to Islam. Who was here? Who remember it? Anyone remember the? Who remember it about the lizard who converted to Islam yesterday? What do you remember it? The prophet is not only the best of mankind, he is the best between the animals. Even he was able to convert a lizard to Islam. A camel to Islam. A donkey, actually, the first suicide bomber or suicide person in Islam was a donkey who became a Muslim, and his name is Yafur. This guy, he have a super ability even to talk to animals. There's a stories in the hadith about Muhammad is speaking to a camel. A camel was crying to the prophet. Yep. The prophet even was talking to trees. That prophet, not only that, once he want to do poo, poo the trees, they move around him to give him shade. And they say, Shahada. Those things never happen to anyone. You know, when I read the hadith about the prophet doing poo, poo and the tree move around to keep him in shade, the first question come to my mind, this guy was doing poo, -poo for how many hours? I mean, sit under the tree, man. Let us say you sit under the tree now, and you are going to do poo-poo. Okay. How long is going to take the tree shade to move around? The tree is moving around to keep him in shade. Why? He was there for 10 hours? Was Muhammad doing a poo-poo, or he was making a nuclear bomb? Bomb, I mean. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know. It's just an idea. I mean, anyway, it must be a true story. All the stories of the prophet are true stories. <laughs> he swallow <a> ajwa. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim here? <coughs> There's no trees at that at that time. Why? Yeah, you know the prophet, the prophet is an amazing person. He said, Don't cut a tree. The prophet used to cut a trees and burn people alive. Muhammad even he threat that if the Muslims don't gather to pray on Friday, he will burn them alive. He said, I was going to order my men to gather wood. And throw it at the houses of those who don't come to pray and burn them there. They and then their family. You believe it? You know, they say to us, they quote a lot of stories about Muhammad. And they try to present Muhammad as a go green guy. You know, the go green. The prophet, he said, don't cut the trees. What are you talking about? Muhammad, not only he killed the people who lived there, he burned their trees. Not only he burned their trees and cut their trees, he dig their graves. Imagine how much hateful this guy is. Even the dead ones who they are in the grave for many years, they are died. They die before even his exist. 
he dig their graves but people do not know really why Muhammad he dig the grave anyone knows why he dig the graves anyone why Muhammad he dig the graves of those dead people looking for gold you are right he's a thief he claimed that he is digging because he wanna you know like he is angry from them but those are dead people what angry from them those are dead. they never fought him they are dead from long time but those Jewish people when they bury many of them they bury the expensive stuff with the dead man so Muhammad he took over their land and now he killed the people he took their money and now it's time to dig for gold that is Islam and this is the best of mankind Any Abdul? Why the Prophet? I just I'm reading this hadith here. Why the Prophet he ordered the Muslims to shave their mustache and make a long beard? Anyone knows? I don't know if you notice that uh, a real Muslims who they are Sunni who follow the Sunnah, they shave their mustache. And they grow a beard which is very ugly because you really will you, you will look ugly you have no mustache but you have a beard the purpose is not religious it's just because Muhammad he don't want them to look the same as the Sabian who he himself is copying from them because he was accused to be a Sabian too so he told them shave your mustache grow your beard so you will not look the same as the Majus, the one who worshipped the fire. Everything the Muslims, they say to us about Islam is a lie. Even Allah, as usual, Muhammad, when the people they start saying to him what's wrong with you why you are okay you killed the people why you are cutting the trees he said oh Allah he gave me a verse he gave me a verse he said don't worry be happy all the trees you cut it was by the order of Allah mm -hmm. Do we have any Muslim want to give us a call? Any Abdul? Who is here for first time? If you are first time here, we have a prize for you. If you are a first time visitor we are happy to provide you with the translation for Morse code where Allah he used to send Quran to the Prophet which means Allah will send you a revelation as a sound of a bell you know until now I'm trying to understand how this happened The prophet he received revelation in the sound of a bell and then he himself is the one who said that the bell is a musical of the instrument of shaitan I'm telling you the prophet is the best of mankind especially when it's come to deep thinking look he's a philosopher the bell is the is one of the musical instrument of shaitan notice with me here the wise muhammad did not say the musical instrument of shaitan he said one of the musical instrument of shaitan one of them it's just one of them however the prophet 
continue saying that angels will never enter a house and that house has bills they don't they don't like it they hate it they will not even enter the house if you have a bill you have a cell phone do you have a cell phone if you have a cell phone well let me tell you the good news angels will not enter your house because you have a bill especially if your phone like you have a you have a ring normal ring you know like the ring of a bill you know that is no no in Islam Allah he hated the angels they hated this is the red line absolutely forbidden angels will not enter your house if you have a bill take a note and I was wondering why angels are not coming to my house the angels do not accompany the traveler who have with them a dog or a bell what the heck? dog and the bell okay we got rid of the bell now we have to get rid of the dog look like if we keep following Muhammad we are going to get rid of our uh, pant the panty uh, the uh, I mean this guy he was he was going to strip us off what is the problem with this God are you telling me that the angels of Allah they are weak in the front of a bell and a dog oh, 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 oh. Uh, I am an angel. Sorry, I cannot get a close. There is a dog there. I have a phobia. I have a dog phobia. The angels will not get a close to your house if you have, or even even when you are in trouble. And why? I mean, a person who is traveling, he needs a dog with him to protect him, to alarm him. So now a Muslim, if he's traveling, and we are talking about the old days, guys. Not now. You go in the airplane. Thanks to the kuffar, the infidels who made the airplane, not the Muslims. In the time of Muhammad, people they travel in top of donkeys, camels, horses, whatever. So you need a dog with you. So Muhammad now forbid them from having two valuable things. Why people they have a bill with them at that time? They hang a bill on the neck of their animals. So if the animals lose, they can find him, which is a very useful way. So Muhammad, by his madness, is stripping the people from a very useful things around them including simple thing like the bill and a beautiful animal like the dog and Muhammad he liked to confirm that the bell is the musical instrument of shaitan as you see all of those stories hmm. but look here what Muhammad said Nobody. I don't believe it. The guy who was keep talking about the bell is the musical instrument of shaitan. Suddenly he himself is receiving Quran in a sound of a bell. The angel sometime come to me with the voice which resemble the sound of a ringing bell. What? What what? The angels deliver Quran to Muhammad as a sound of a bell. Okay. But isn't it, this is the instrument of shaitan? Isn't it who you say that the angels will not walk with somebody have a bell or a dog with him? Okay, question. I will let it go. Muhammad, he received the Quran like this. How Muhammad was able to translate the Quran to Arabic? Any Muslim can explain? Muhammad, he received Quran in a sound resembled the sound of a bell so he got he did not get arabic word he got a bell sound how he translate to arabic yeah mayday mayday we need versions no not no versions please please version and vodka
What's wrong with this religion? Do we have any Muslim want to say something? The best of mankind. Obviously, this guy is a crazy. It's obvious this guy is a crazy. He have mental issue. I mean, have you ever heard of a guy who received word of God in the sound of a bell, and yet he is the one who says to us that the bell is a sound, is the music and instrument of Shaitan? How it is the music or instrument of shaitan and you receive Quran in the sound of a bell and how the bell come to you as a bell and then yet you give us to us as a Quran in Arabic. That is a miracle. I don't know. I think you guys are jealous. I don't know. I receive a sound. I, I heard the sound of a bell outside, so I was looking to see. Maybe there is like a shaitan delivering something to me or something. Do we have any Muslim here? Anyone? Hmm. One person was murdered and four are injured by a knife attack in Paris. And the police killed the attacker. Well, I'm glad they did not say that he should go to five stars hotels as usual. You get ready every weekend, you know. The Muslims will they have a they have a plan for you. Uh, there is an unlucky person who died. Very sad. I know they will blame the knife. I understand. The knife is the problem, is not they will blame the knife, not the guy. And the guy at the end of the day, they will say to you, he have a mental issue. Their prophet have mental issue. Any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim here? Yeah, hello, it's me you're looking for. Any Abdul? But you know, to be honest with you, I feel sometimes that the Prophet, he touched my heart. And each time the prophet he touched my heart, I checked two things. My clothes, my shoes, and my wallet. Because this guy is very famous in those stuff. Any Muslim here? Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Silver, are you a Muslim, Mr. Silver? You remind me of Captain Silver. There was a cartoon. Captain Silver is a pirate. But he was a good pirate, like the prophet, you know? He killed only the bad ones, like the Christians, the Jews, you know, the Hindus, the Buddhas. Yeah, but he never killed the good ones. Yeah, we have to be honest here. Yeah. Show me the proof if you are really proof. I'm showing you the screen. A silver, safe. I'm showing. Did you see it? Your prophet, he received Quran as a bill. 
Okay, I want you to translate this to me to Arabic. Are you ready? You are a prophet receiving now Quran. Translation, please. What Allah just said? Can you tell me? You are a prophet. He received sound of a bell. How that became Arabic? I'm an Arab. You know, guys, to be honest with you, when I was a child, this was a long time ago, you know. By the way, we Arab, we are born, but we have beard. Yes, I can show you in the Quran. I show you in the, in the Hadith. I can show you in the in interpretation that the Muslim, he might be born four, five, six, seven years, even up to 10 years after his father passed away. Actually, the Prophet, he was born four years after his father passed away i can show you the reference but anyway that's not our topic i mean why you are mixing things up man i think i'm getting old anyway when i was a kid this is a long time ago so i was like i don't know like 100 years ago maybe more i think i'm trying to make myself younger so at that time when i was born to be honest with you the first thing i heard it was this. But at that time, I did not figure out why I was a baby. Now I know. I think I was a prophet. I think Allah was giving me inspiration, speaking to me as a prophet. Jesus will come at the end of the time and judge you. I mean, isn't it funny that you are a Muslim and you are waiting for Jesus to judge you? So who is Muhammad? Why are you Muslims? You say that the best of mankind is Muhammad, but the one who will judge you in the judgment day is Jesus. I mean, do you see the hypocrisy of the Muslims? Do you see the stupidity? In the judgment day, the one who will judge us is Jesus, but yet they make articles that Muhammad is the best of mankind. If Jesus the one will judge all mankind in the judgment day, that's mean your prophet himself will be judged by Jesus too. This is your statement. Let me put it in the screen so everybody can see what you just wrote for us. Silver safe, a Muslim said, Jesus will come in the end of the time of time and he will judge you question to the Muslims why Jesus will judge us not Muhammad the best of mankind any Muslim can tell us and what Jesus will do to me I did not kill people I did not rape women Muhammad he was a rapist so you just admitted that the one who will judge all mankind is God that is Jesus so if Jesus judged me, I never rape a woman. Never. I never killed a child. I never stole the property of people. I never uh, go inside the house of a married man and flirt with his wife like Muhammad. So if Jesus come to judge between me and Muhammad, who is going to go to hell? Be honest. As long now, we agreed, both of us, that the one who will judge us in the judgment day is Jesus. I agree with you with this. It is Jesus. Look at the answer, guys. Look at the answer. The answer of stupidity. For you, your religion, for me, is mine. So why you say that Jesus was a Muslim? You see, guys, when you get them busted, they have no answer. They say to you, for you, your religion, for you, for me is mine. You know you don't have your religion. How are you, Amiro? Hey, brother, Christian friends. Hey, bro. Your camera is open. Is that okay? It's okay. It's okay, everyone. Sh sh should I put you in the screen? Yes, put me in the screen. You know, I wish I can put myself, but I'm not handsome like you. This is the problem. You know? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is our brother Amiro here. In case you do not know him, uh, uh, you know, he's a wonderful person who left Islam. 
all right so Amen. Uh, yeah and he became a christian and he do great work for for the lord so what is the news my my, my brother uh, i want to say uh, hello uh, uh, to everybody uh, nice to uh, hear uh, your voice christian prince uh, i hear your your new book is out uh, quran and times in uh, german yes. version yes <clears throat> um i will promote it from my heart you know <laughs> we will support you brother thank you very much my friend thank you i appreciate that yeah well people they need thank to, you. people they need to know about it and uh, and the translation is uh, is very well done and we this time we are more careful to uh, uh, to be sure that the proofreading is done you know perfectly you know okay perfect yeah so uh, I know because your your knowledge is very very uh, good and I really appreciate that and I uh, be but, very thankful to your knowledge. But be careful. I, the, the new the new book is a kind of a, a kind of a comedy. Uh, what? The new book is kind of a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great, great. The, the, the Muslims will, will not be happy with it at all, especially especially from Germany. I can imagine that this guy from Germany, what his name? I forgot his name. Uh, uh, he will make a drama about it. You know, he will. Uh, yeah, make false reviews about the book, huh? Yeah, the one who asks people to go and make false review, he will. He will. Uh, uh, you know, he will go and make stories. He say, "Hey guys, go. There's a, there's a new book. Don't forget to go and make a false review about it." You know. Uh, yeah. yeah, and and you know the funny this guy. Uh, you remember the 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 hadith about Muhammad? He killed an innocent man. Yes, and, yes, the, yes, and the Muslims they say they cannot find it. How many times I offer the Abdul to come and debate me about it? What about you come and you get and you get me busted? You know, as long as you are sure and you wanna, you know, Christian prince is a liar. Why you don't come and get a Christian prince busted? Why you don't do that? They never will come up. They never will show up. Yeah, I mean, you... because they, but brother, because they knew when they come, the the whole life will destroy it about Islam, because the Islam is their life, you know. Yeah, exactly. and when you destroy Islam, you destroy his life. That's the whole problem of this issue. Issue. Yeah, and uh, this is why they make videos. Even this guy, he make videos, but he disabled disabled the comment. He is afraid that we post a comment. I mean, we we wait here. I am here almost every day, saying, "Who is a Muslim wanna call me? Who is a Muslim wanna call me?" Okay, Christian yes. Prince is lying. Call him and get him busted. Yes. Call yes, him and I'm... say, "Hey, liar! Show me right now, as we speak, not tomorrow, not next year. Now, show us where is the reference. I wanna see it." <laughs> you know? I know. They will never show up. I know. They will. I I say to him, I write him, I say, "Come in, in the room of Christian Prince." We can talk about it, about your uh, character, uh, your false uh, prophet, and uh, the false religion uh, called Islam. Come and step in a debate. Uh, uh, took the, the help of Allah and step in a debate with Christian Prince and me. I'm there. You can uh, talk with me too. And Christian Prince will show us everything in the Islamic uh, uh, sources. Why well, you are scared? And we debate. They will not. We have the truth with you. You don't be scared. You know, you remember uh, this guy who made the video. Uh, I, I forgot his name. Uh, he claimed that uh, somebody told me that he claimed that I speak German, but I claim I don't speak German. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wish I speak German. <laughs> why? Why? I, why? I want to hide that for, from. I mean, option, option, smart, smart, smart. Like what the heck? I wish. <laughs> What kind, what kind of accusation this accusation? Christian Prince, Christian Prince, he speaks German, but he's writing it. Like, what I did it, man. I wish teach me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, but but his logic is, is smart. He's saying if you don't speak German, so how he, he made the book in German? <laughs> yes, did you see the demonic character of this, of this poisoned guy? This is his religion teach him uh, uh, do such uh, such a thing. You're yeah, right. And yeah. which guy go and say do a false review about the book which he never read? You know because, what is that for? Because it's a decent religion. 
you know because this, this is, is a lie because yeah because this is a decent religion decent religion teaching people that you can go and fabricate review and even he is image he's he's making a video not a shame saying go and make a review i mean like he's not even hiding it like you know in a private message he said guys go yeah. and make a false review for this guy you know <laughs> yeah, and my brother and i uh, uh, exposed him you know i'm looking right now to see if the book is already on on amazon ready because already we approve it so if it's already out i will uh, i will send you a link i wish i can send you a copy as a gift from me but the issue is uh, mm. uh you know the you know the one who made the translation for me i sent him a book i sent him a book uh, uh actually uh, the first book i sent took two months and came back and then before <laughs> that i sent the second book and then the second book he received it so actually i sent a total of four books i have here i have two books are in the 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 the, the, the post office returned them for me so if mm -hmm. you if you get the book from Amazon, it's going to be a lot uh, cheaper. However, no, no. However, no. however, listen, just this is just a yeah. discount for you. Before you order it, before you make an order, tell me, I will go and change the price because still I am the owner. I can, can control the price. So I can make it very cheap. So you can order in cheap price. So you can get it like a gift from me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me when okay. you want to order it. Tell me. I, I, I found actually the link. Here we go. I found the link uh for 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 the amazon it's already there and you tell me about what you think about uh, let me see let me send it to you tell me what do you think about the design i see it with uh some uh what is that um uh here we go this is the link i send it to you in in the chat okay I open it. Yeah. You were able to open it? Mm, look like the camera maybe froze. <clears throat> Let me see. Yeah, I think his camera froze. Uh, already, the the book is already in Amazon. Hello. Yes, brother. I see it with thunder and something, huh? Okay, so yeah, it's like because it's about science, you know. Yes, it's about. It science. looks good. Yeah, but brother, it's no problem. I will support you because. Uh, uh, I will, uh, I'm very thankful for your knowledge that you shared with us, and uh, it's a it's a pleasure for me to uh, thank you, thank support you. you. Yeah, get but get the book mm -hmm. first. Get the book before you talk about it because we don't want to make a false review. <laughs> <laughs> no, I write in English. You know, I'm very very uh, thankful that it's yeah, someone it's... who translates your book in German. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have the book in German or uh, English already, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. Actually, actually, it's the same book, but now it's easier for people who speak German, you know, to read the mm. book in German. And uh, let us mm. see. Let us see what the Muslims will say about it, and uh, 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 you know uh, how many videos they will they will uh, they will make to attack <laughs> this uh, <laughs> false lies of Christian friends in this book. Let us see. This book actually the good thing about it. You see that the section of Allah is full of a lot of information, but uh, things get more funny. In the second part because we show people how what it's called the stupidity became science how the muslims <laughs> they, they they convert and they change the fact from what is a stupid and funny and dummy they make mm -hmm. it as it is amazing science and this is exactly mm -hmm. what the second book do this this is why the second book uh, it's called quran and science in depth otherwise both books they used to be one I, I decide to split them both to two i mean one book to two because it became so huge and, and and soon we will have uh, the the two two more books to be published. By the way, it's about sex and Islam. <laughs> that will be horrible. <laughs> and guess what? I believe strongly that the buyers of this book will be number one are Muslims. 
<laughs> because the topic is sex and Islam. You know them, you know. Yes, 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 yes. But, yeah, yeah, your knowledge is very, very great about this stuff. Huh? You are the the most high of knowledge in Islam that I I, I know about it. Huh? Well, you know, uh, but everything there why, is with reference. Yes, that that is this is what what we uh, looking for for reference right. for everything that I say or. Uh, for everything that I show some somebody, I will give them reference. They can look at uh, himself or, or herself, you know. Because you know, you can uh, go and talk. Yourself. Talk is cheap. People they can say whatever they want. People they say even yeah. Jesus does not exist, Muhammad does not exist. People they can say whatever they want, but uh, when you can you prove what you say, this is the issue. For us, I mm -hmm. never use any reference except what is written in Muslim books. I have nothing from my own. Yes, everything is coming from Muslim books. So if most if mm. you want to if you want to accuse me of lying That's mean you have to accuse yourself Muslims of being a liar yes. for this is what is written in your books But the, the whole destruction is they can don't uh, they don't can um, Put even a bus in trash or a line in trash or uh, a court to be a tabari they, they, this, they this is the scholars of Islam. Yes, when they are and they are liars. They mean that and they are and they are liars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, true story, true story. <laughs> you know, look, we have we have many Muslims in the chat. Uh, why you think none of them want to call us? I mean, what what is the problem? I wish I can call in the Islamic show, and they will give me a chance to make a phone call. I will be happy to do so. Why mm. here we struggle to find a Muslim to call us and to get us busted? <laughs> because they are scared. <laughs> scared from getting getting us busted. <laughs> they hate the truth, brother. Yeah. They hate the truth. They don't can mention the truth. You know. Right, right. It's amazing. It's amazing. But it's uh, but but we have to admit, me and you, loud and clear in air, and let the Muslims record this. Muhammad was amazing, man. You know. <laughs> Did you, did Let you, us see how the science. Did, 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 you, did you watch? Did you watch my previous video yesterday about Muhammad converting the lizard to Islam? Uh, no, brother. I watched the, um, the video about Muhammad with China, something like this. You know? Oh yeah. What, what Muhammad, was? It? Yeah, Muhammad. He said, uh, "Seek knowledge even in China." Seek <laughs> knowledge in China, and somebody was uh, calling you and say. Uh, bring a surah like this when you are uh, the, the best of you, you know? and you say something read the Quran, you know, and you say, No, there's not the Quran. <laughs> but what do you read in the Quran? What is not Quran? You know, the, the, the funny, the Muslim, they say to you, Make a verse like this when the Arab in the time of Muhammad he said to him, The Quran is a stupid. What do you mean, say, make a verse like this? They are saying to him, The Quran is a stupid. How you say to us, make are you saying to me, make something stupid like this, and then. I read the verse for for the Abdul. I made a, I read a verse from him from the Quran, but I just have to admit I did play him. I told him, okay, I'm mm -hmm. going to make a verse for you, and you tell me if it is good or not. So I read a verse for him from the Quran. He said, it's no, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> this Quran is not good for him. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. Why? But why is not good? It's written by it's it's written by Allah. <laughs> Amazing story. I was so laughing. Oh my god. This is why when you debate Muslims, you don't debate them. There's no debate with Muslims. They are not honest people. This is why you have it's like a trap. It's like a mice and a cat. You know, you have to play games with them. They hide behind yeah. furniture. A Muslim when he debate you is like a small tiny uh, etc. He hides between furniture. He say, Hey kitty, 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 come. I have food for you. Come here. You know, like but he will not come out, he will not answer, he will not talk. You have you have to bring him into a trap. This is Islam, you know. There's no honesty. The same as the guy, the guy you you brought to me from Lebanon, the guy who is supposed to he want to debate me. After what happened to him, he was saying to he was saying to you, I did beat Christian Prince for you. <laughs> <laughs> I humiliated him. <laughs> My brother, did you know what? Uh, did you notice this guy from Germany, this Shia Hamza? Mm -hmm. You know. This guy is uh, was dreaming about uh, fr from Jesus. Heavy, huh? Really? 
Yeah, really. He said, I was dreaming about Jesus and Jesus said to me, follow me. And so, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Hold on. He never, it became a dream from Jesus. Oh boy. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. That's... So it's a, right what what he's saying now yes he dreamed about jesus jesus said to him follow me and what he decided to do now is he going to follow muhammad or follow jesus i don't know nobody knows what he's doing and he's a big, <laughs> big Muhammad, but everybody knows him here but, you know, you, but, you, but you know you know if he if he accepted jesus the muslim they would accuse him to be to use to be a false muslim <laughs> yeah and, and not only that, they might accuse him that you are the one who put the dream in his head, you know, like you came in his, <laughs> <laughs> and you put something in his coffee, you know, cocaine, heroin. <laughs> and he was, they would start saying that he was imagining those things because they made the black magic. This, this guy, Amiro, he made the black magic on him, you know, as what happened to the prophet, you know. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> Do we have any, uh, any news from Germany? Uh, no, I will now. Uh, in every video that I make, I make uh, every two weeks a video uh, in which I put uh, one theme and I try to make it uh, uh, as the smallest thing, uh, you know, not so big as you make it, you know, with one hour videos or two hours, you know. Yeah. I try to make it short because the most people they don't have time to look and so and uh, that you uh, can do this video small enough that they will look at, at it you know yeah what well, you know uh... i will use your book as as usual you know i i love your book and the reference are amazing and uh, um what it calls i don't know in, uh, in english but by the way this book is, is amazing and i love it and i prove the reference and everything is okay and when I uh, when I are in debates with uh, Muslims, they don't can answer me, and then I say, "Is that the truth?" When when you don't can answer me, come and uh, took the hand of Jesus, then he he wants to save you, yeah. not Muhammad. Uh, you know, uh, I'm I'm going to try to uh, to send you uh, to change the uh, the price. So for you, so for you, you can get uh, get the price in a very cheap price. You don't purchase it for uh, something, mm -hmm. you know. Because I'm trying to get it to you as a gift, you know what I mean. So I will try. Okay. I, will, I will try to do that. I will try to change the update. The uh, let me see how I can do that while we are talking. You know, we will see if I can do that. Mm, uh, no problem. <clears throat> yeah. Um, let us see. What is the price you like? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, let us see. Uh, yeah. If anyone have a question, by the way, to Brother Amiro, uh, uh, let us know. Uh, you know, if you have a question for him about. Uh, how he, why he left Islam, why he decided to become a Christian, uh, why he don't like to be a Muslim, uh, feel free. You know, I'm sure he would be happy to, uh, you know, to give you the answer. Yes, I have a, I have a YouTube channel in, uh, but it is in German language. It's called Ex Muslim Leben auf TV. You know, it means uh, ex Muslim, ex Muslims are telling the truth. In this, in this way, in this way, yeah, and we expose Islam like you did, you know. And I want to uh, bring the Muslims uh, to Jesus, you know. Uh, at, at the end of my videos, I will call them to Jesus and say, Jesus love them, and they they've been deceived by the, um, the uh, evil spirit of Islam and the evil fruits of Muhammad and his followers, you know. What is that for a religion who allows me to die? This is the most. <laughs> when you are saying in this religion, you have you, you have the um, uh, you you became the what is it called in English a license to lie, you know, in Surah three uh, twenty eight. Yeah, twenty eight. Yes. And yes, when I read the Tafsir of Ibn Kathir, the, the, I thought that it's not the truth. Huh? He he uh, says that Abu Adarda say 
that uh, we smile in the face of some unbelievers, but in our heart we, we curse them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and the funny, in, in, in the funny, in the same page, it says in, in that the, he called the unbelievers the hypocrites. Yeah. <laughs> he called them, he called them the hypocrite, and, and supposedly we are the bad one. We are the hypocrites. Yeah, the Christians are the bad one. <laughs> yeah. I changed, I changed the price already, but I don't know how long it's going to take before it's going to be changed. You see, already I made it. I made the change. It's here. It's showing for some reason thirty-five dollars. But uh, wait, uh, don't purchase it now. Okay, uh, maybe an hour or two the price will be updated so you can buy it for the cheapest price you can get. All right. Thank you, thank you, brother. Yeah, so, and anyone want to take advantage of this discount? Go ahead. <laughs> Even though this discount was just made for one person. <laughs> yeah, uh, the 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 book is big. How uh, many uh, pages? I think is it uh, three hundred? Uh, let's see, um, three hundred seventy-six pages. Man, yeah, it's big. yeah, it's big. Uh, mm -hmm. This is why the the price is a little bit uh, uh, big too, because you know uh, the print and the weight. And I think Amazon they ship in Germany for free. Is that correct? Uh, yes, uh, when it's uh, more than twenty nine euros, they will ship it for free. Oh, so now you will pay at the end the same. I made it cheaper, but now you they will charge you for shipping. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it back then in this in the all the price with the benefit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh boy, we did nothing then. I thought we, we are trying to help. <laughs> it's no problem, brother. I support you because I'm very thankful about your work, and your knowledge that you're sharing with us. And that is the smallest thing that I can do for you, my brother. And I learned so much uh, from you. And this is the this is. Some something that I can give to you. you know? Thank you very much. You know, I I, I wonder if we can contact some uh, uh, very well known people who can maybe read those books and they can learn from them. People who they are active in the society. I will be happy if we can deliver mm -hmm. my books to, to them and you know from the German to uh, I mean uh, you know those translations so they can they can use them as a, as a as a tool to to fight against the deception. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I love? Uh, that your books are in every school. You know, they teach your books in every school because the, the most people they have to learn and study your book. You know, that they've been um, secured about the deception of uh, Islam. You know. Well, this is the purpose. The purpose is to spread knowledge. You know, for me, yes, it's true that books uh, support what I do. You know, uh, life uh, is costly. You need to uh, to support yourself. But the purpose of everything we, we do here is to spread the truth. Uh, <laughs> and, and uh, uh, you know, actually, the one who made me make books is the Muslims, in case you do not know. I was, <laughs> I was never thinking about making a book. But the Muslims, they said to me, if you are very much knowledgeable, how come you don't have any book? <laughs> <laughs> So I said, okay, you know what? <laughs> All right. It is good. I bring one. Yeah, this is what you want. We will make books. What a big deal. I mean, like, uh, you know, what, how come if you are a scholar, how come you don't have books? You know? So, yes. uh, okay, well, I am a scholar who don't have books. So now let us make the Muslims believe that I am a scholar who have books. <laughs> let them get what they, Yeah, let them get what they are looking for. As simple as that. You know? Yes, brother. I want to. I, I love. I want to see uh, that Shabir Ali, the uh, most popular uh, scholar of the uh, uh, Muslims in the Muslim world, will step in the debate. He never will step in the debate. All of them. You, he all, all the only all with some don't have so much knowledge in Islam, like David Wood or okay, David Wood is a, a good brother. And I love him, and he. I learned a, a lot of him too. But he don't speak Arabic, and this religion is uh, the whole religion is in Arabic. Yeah, this is the purpose. The purpose is we debate someone who do not know really much about about this religion, and he yes. he cannot he cannot get us uh, you know he cannot get us busted because if I say something like you know 
when uh, Shabir Ali was debating David Wood, and he said to him, the miracle of number 19. Now, in, in, in order to get this miracle busted, you have to speak Arabic. It's not because uh, David Wood is not smart, but he don't speak Arabic, so he is limited to in order to answer him. And Shabir Ali himself, he don't speak Arabic, but in the same time, uh, you know, uh, uh, he just to throw it at him, and he do not need to prove it because I, if I say something to you, uh, okay, prove me wrong, and he know he is sure that David Wood would not be able to do so. Yes, you see, I changed the price, but it's not changing. Still thirty, <laughs> still thirty five. It's still 35 dollars no problem bro. yeah I'm not, it's yeah it's not uh, it's not a change in 35 dollars still the price uh but anyway uh when you make a video about it i i wish that's not only you i mean uh, whoever is uh, uh is active in in germany about islam if they can share and make a video after they read the book not before for you you already know the book because you have the book in english so it's nothing nothing really new you can you can make a review about the book even if you don't have the german copy because it's the same it just, but, but because in german is an, uh, is another um uh it's another thing in, uh, like in english you know because uh, my my german is uh, a lot more better than english you know right, right. yeah I understand. this is why this is why if you have the german you can use it uh, you can use the same as using my my deception of allah book in german you can use yeah, it. You I can use it. You can use it. Yeah, for reference. You know, let people see and read and learn. And yeah. let us see what the Muslims will say. And anyone, anytime, would like to debate me about my book. I will be so happy and so uh, he's more than welcome. All what mm -hmm. I need, all what I need, if we want to debate about my book in German, is to get someone to translate for me. Because even if you quote for me from my book, I will not understand what he's talking about unless he speak to me in the language I understand. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like uh, mm -hmm. we have a brother. Um, uh, I think his name is Ethan. He sent me a message in Facebook. He says there's a link is wrong. I don't know, like link 19. I did not understand him. So I told him, can you, uh, can he ask you to translate for me what is wrong? So maybe, maybe there is, he click at the link and it's wrong. It's not working, but I could not understand him because there is a language barrier. Uh, uh, I, I understand that your English is not good, but uh, you are doing good actually. You know, at least we can understand perfectly what what you are talking about. Yeah, I try, I try my best to, Just to make practice. it. Uh, the more practice that you do, the more the more it's better. Language is always yeah. about practice. Uh, yeah. And anytime, any anyone you know, he ever is willing to debate me. I don't need to know his qualification. I do not need to know his name. I don't care really. I don't care if he is a big shake, small shake. You know, like you remember, you told me before there is a the brother of that lady who who became a Christian. He is a shake of Hezbollah. Yeah. He want to debate me. He never will come in the debate. I, I know, but I mean, but did I, did, I, did I say no? I mean, he's a big shake supposedly. I was happy actually. This is very good, but he never he never did, you know did. Uh, so we welcome everybody. He's a big shake, small shake from Hezbollah, from the Shia, from the Sunni. It doesn't matter. Just come and debate us, and if you are really a truthful person, you will win. You know, you will make it. Uh, Allah, Allah will take your side. You know, if if God is with me, who could be against me, right? Yeah, that is what I'm saying. Because yeah. when you have the truth with you, you don't be scared. You go and uh, debate everybody. All right. You know. Uh, you have God on your side. But because they knew that they don't have really any match. Uh, they don't have enough knowledge and the knowledge they have the, actually the one who have enough knowledge he would be scared more from such a debate mm. you know the ignorant is the one who would jump into debating me mm. because he, he don't know what he's talking about you know mm. that's why it's hard to find a smart Muslim to debate me <laughs> is, there some, is there somebody here to debate Mr. Prince <laughs> Yeah, anytime. We, we are, we are, we are here. We are waiting for you. Just call us. Give us a call. <laughs> now, uh, Amira, do you, you you go in the street and you do uh, like mission in the street, or just uh, what is your activity? Or only you do videos online, or what do you do? Yeah, yeah. My my, my wife and I uh, was in the city, and we do the work of the uh, Lord, and we um, gave some uh, what it calls. Uh, some papers who, who was writing uh, Jesus loves you and something like this, you know. Brochures, okay, yeah. Uh, brochures, you know? Yeah, uh, I, I saw, I saw uh, 
uh, a brother. His name is Ethan. I think he's your friend, right? Uh, Elias. Yeah, yeah. He, he go in the street. I saw some uh, of his uh, his work. He's, he's doing great. I, I I wish one day maybe we can meet him too. And I, yes, I, I, I and uh, you know, uh, if I go to Europe uh, this uh, this summer, you know, I will be glad to meet you know with all the good guys. Yeah. Yes, I will uh, let you meet you too, brother. And uh, don't forget to invite the Muslims to meet me. <laughs> <laughs> they can bring their flowers to the. Air <laughs> they can bring their flowers to the airport. <laughs> and and just and just to make it clear, I am the same as the Prophet Muhammad. We accept cash. <laughs> Yes, brother, brother Muhammad selling places in heaven. Huh? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Muhammad he promised corner lot in the heaven because you know, like uh, <laughs> it's the same as anywhere in the heaven. There's corner lot. There is like a there's a house far from the beach. There's a house in the front of the beach. I mean, it depends who you are. So if you are a close person to the Prophet, you will get a house in the corner lot in a very good location. Taxi, <laughs> a, a, a bus, train stations, everything you need is there. Even seven eleven store is just downstairs, you know. So <laughs> everything is good. You know the funny look, look. If you look at the text of the chat, the Muslims they complain uh, about what we do. Look what this guy is saying. We don't curse Jews and Christians, but we say, "Oh, who created us? Guide us to the straight way." You, you know, uh, Silver say if you are a liar. The Quran, the Quran cursed the Christians and the Jews tons of time. And let us do this. Safe. What about you call me right now? I do not need to hang up on our brother here. You can join the conversation with us. And you leave it for me. Oh, what I need you to do. You say to me, I challenge you where in the Quran it teach us. And even Allah, he says he cursed the Jews and the Christians. Call me right now. And if I don't show it, I will apologize. From everybody, I will even disappear from YouTube. I promise. What do you do? I will brother, show brother, yeah. brother, show him a Surah eight fifty five and tell him what is that for a God who calls other uh, human being uh, worse than animals? Tell, tell him. He yeah. want to say to us. There is a there is a guy. He was uh, his name is Dawa guy. I don't know if you know him. He speak English. He's, he live in England. Uh, he, yeah, made, he, no. made, he made a video. And he was standing next to a bunch of cows, and he he was <laughs> reciting he was reciting that verse you are talking about, uh, about the, about the animals. And he says the kuffar is the same as the animals. This is what the Quran is saying. What is the what is the benefit of the kuffar? And the funny, the guy he have a Mercedes Benz made by the kuffar. The phone <laughs> the phone he's holding. <laughs> yeah, the phone the phone he's holding in his hand is made by the kuffar. The clothes he's wearing is made by the kuffar. Uh, the the headphone he's wearing is made by the kuffar. The shoes he's wearing is made by the kuffar. The watch he's wearing is wearing by the kuffar, and he's saying, "What is the benefit of the kuffar?" Yeah. You know, a bunch of people. Are. Yeah, his name is Ali Dawa. So he made a video about us that we are the same as animals. <laughs> what is the benefit of that? What is the benefit? This is why the Quran says they are the same as animals. You know, yeah. <clears throat> uh, 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 Mr. Safi <laughs> said tomorrow he is going to call us tomorrow. Uh, Amira, he said no, tomo no, tomorrow. No, tomorrow, no. yeah, tomorrow. No. This guy remind me of a guy who was debating me once, but this was ten years ago. He said he want to go to the bathroom, and since then he never come back. <laughs> and he need ten years to come back. Yeah, tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow he will call me. Yeah, tomorrow. I mean, what? The, uh, come on, sleep. He called me for five minutes. Will not take you long, and you will receive the answer for asking me for. You just said we never curse the Christian and the Jews. Call me for five minutes and go sleep. Just five minutes. I will not take you for longer. Five minutes. Stop. Stop making excuses. Don't you want to get me busted? I mean, I know tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Just do it now because now it's hot. <laughs> get me busted. Brother, 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 ask him which religion teach somebody go and blow himself up. Go and read Surah 9, verse 111. Allah says, go and kill yourself and go and kill others. Right. Is that God who yeah. says such, such, such a thing? This is a drug. This is the drug speaking. Right now, as we speak, a guy he attacked people walking in the street in Paris, in France, and he killed one person and he injured five. What is the pleasure does God he get from this? You know what what the Muslims accomplish from killing people walking in the street? Mm -hmm. What kind of religion this religion is? You know, if a if a Christian, if a Christian he do that, we will spit at him. 
because he's he's obviously he's a, he's a, a satanic person you know this is not this is not a behavior of a normal human being this is cannot be and from a normal this is this is must be satanic so yes it, if your god is good then do a good as god he told you to do is that what god you know jesus he said from their fruits you shall know them know them yes not from their names you can call yourself a christian prince you can call yourself muhammad you can call yourself whatever you want but we know people not from their names we know them from their fruits because they have rotten stinky fruits if we if if islam is good then why muslim don't do good which country which country you muslim wish to immigrate to give me one even brother is not war with the non christian uh, non uh, muslim world till they uh, islam islam is in war with muslims too <laughs> <laughs> you know what, what Islam is is in war with everybody how many people yeah, get, get, how, everybody. how many people get killed in Afghanistan just last week in 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 Pakistan in Nigeria you know Muslims killing Muslims wherever they go this is this is a very ugly cult they cannot live in peace as simple as that so, they don't have Jesus. yeah and when, when they Muslims, have, what, never come to such a thing you see the go and Load themselves up in mosques and something and in bus stations and in trains and is that the religion of God? This is the religion of Satan himself, right? And if and they say, when I, and when, yet, I was, when I was studying my, uh, the, the Islamic sources, I was shocked up and said, This is not a religion, right? No Muslim, uh, truthfully, you know, they are all hypocrites. They tell you, no, this is not true. Oh, you know what? I, 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 I got, I got an update for you. Go and order the book before it's before the price change. Right now, it's eighteen dollars. <laughs> it's change. <laughs> All right. Do you hear me, Amiro? I think he froze. Do oh wait. Me? Do you hear me? The price, yeah, I hear you. yeah, the price change right now it is eighteen dollars. So go, go, and, yeah, go and order it before, before the price change. Okay. I don't know if you can find it in uh, in. Uh, if you click at the same link and refresh the page, it says now the price is eighteen dollars. Oh wait. So I don't know. I, I don't know if that will give you free shipping or not. You know. But this price mm -hmm. will have to stay. This is just uh, for you to get it for you know the. I cannot lower it than this because there's a limit because the pay, the book is three hundred sixty uh, seventy pages, so there's mm -hmm. a limit of how how uh, how low I can go, you know. Uh, <clears throat> is that the same guy who translated Allah's Toishung? This is a translation. Yeah. This is the. It's book. the same. Yeah, it's same brother, huh? Yeah, the link I I just sent you the same link I sent you. In Skype, should I go on the link that you sent me? Yeah, the same link I sent you. You can go there uh, and uh, refresh the page. Does it say eighteen eighteen dollars the price? Wait. Let me see. the link again click in it okay here eighteen dollars all right click in it to purchase before the price change because the price will change very fast so okay. so uh, uh, go order it before before the price go up <laughs> click at add to cart and continue before and tell me what is the shipping is it going to be because usually you know uh, Amazon they ship locally because they print locally so they should not charge you okay wait i have to uh, uh write my email address and something yeah, down i think you have to log in yes so log in All right, I will, I, will, I will give you I will give you like 10 minutes to uh, to uh, to finish what you are doing and call me back. All right? If you could yeah, not do, if you could not do it let me know.
to see if we can see how we make it happen. Okay, brother. All right. Thank you. So now we have a discount because of our brother here. We made the book in only if you live in Germany. Um, let us see if we open this. If we try in the German, <clears throat> Amazon, but be. Uh, look like it's not it's not available yet in uh, Amazon Germany yet. It will take maybe twenty four hours. Yeah. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Yeah, Silver, he is a Muslim because he read, but yet he do not know where the Quran curses the Christians and the Jews. Yeah, right. He is a Muslim because he read, but he's a prophet, do not know how to write, how to read. So Muhammad was a Muslim because of what? Because he knew how to read or because he did not know how to read? Hmm? The Quran even called the fathers of Muhammad and the parents of Muhammad as Najis. They are Najis. They are filthy. This is what the Quran says about Muhammad family. That is the fact. And the funny Muhammad, he says that you have to respect your parents, but yet he called his parents Najis, and he said that his father is in the hellfire. And the funny, the Muslim, they say that the father of Muhammad, his name is Abdullah. So why someone his name is Abdullah will go to hell? If his name is a slave of Allah, that means he's a Muslim. Why somebody believe in Allah will go to hell? The truth is, Abdullah is not the name of the father of Muhammad. It is Abdullah in the best scenario. And I, if you ask me my, myself, I believe Abdullah or Abdullah have nothing to do with Muhammad. The real father of Muhammad is Waraq ibn Nufal. This is the real father of Muhammad. If you read my book, you will see the reference where the sister of Waraq ibn Nufal, she offer the father of Muhammad 100 camel in order to sleep with her. You can call me anytime, this Abdul. You need a consultant. Call me consultant, call me. We need a consultant. Nightmare is our consultant here. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Let me see what happened with Amiro. <coughs> hey, bro. Did it work? Uh, linked work, but uh, they don't accept my card. I don't know. It's everything in English. Ah, they accept I... only. They accept only good people. You know, you are not good. You are not. You have to be Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be dishonest. <laughs> okay. I ordered, brother. I ordered in uh, in German, Amazon, and I get a copy as well. All right. So yeah, wait, wait for the German Amazon because G German Amazon is is better. Uh, it's no problem. But here in Germany, yeah, but Europe. But German no, Amazon, you... yeah, German Amazon is not. I, I look for the book right now. 
it is not available right now. This is the link. I just look. I was thinking to to send it to you, but it's uh, not it, available. Uh, give it, give it, a, give it uh, until tomorrow. By tomorrow, I think it's going to be available. You know. Okay, we wait tomorrow. It's no problem. Yeah, yeah. That's not you know. Yeah. I will do. As, uh, I will do it as well uh, to support your book because the the world have to know about Islam and the deception about Islam. You know. Islam is a wonderful religion. We have to admit, and uh, like I was reading today, I, I was reading to to the, to the people here. Do you do you know about this verse in the Quran, the one uh, in chapter three, verse uh, uh, one or ten? Uh, no, actually, hold on. Let us go to the other verse. I want to talk about Muhammad fighting with his wives. Uh, ah, okay, okay, I know Surah thirty-three. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. It's mentioned in more than one place, but this place here is where Muhammad he go crazy, you know, in chapter <laughs> sixty-six, verse number four, where, ah, okay. where where Muhammad he threatened his wives that Allah will send him support, may they, may they, Allah and the angels and the believers will take the side of the Prophet Muhammad against the wives. <laughs> <laughs> I never I never heard of somebody he claimed to be prophet of God but yet he needed the help of his God again because of his company against women against women the fight is what the fight is about women women and they are the wives of the prophet and he is fighting with them uh -huh. you know Allah and yeah. the angels and the believers and Jibreel yeah. all of those they will take the side of Muhammad <laughs> because the angels was, will curse the woman uh, when they don't open her legs. Huh? Yeah, and and the, and, and the funny it says it, it says that if you don't behave, Allah will replace you. Allah will exchange you with better women. You know. Yes, and uh, my new video, uh, uh, what, what I uh, bring out uh, three days ago, I talked about it. I say is I talked to the Muslims here in Europe. I say to them. Uh, do you accept that? Is that uh, is that a prophet who, who says something like this? You are um, equal to uh, black dogs and um, uh, donkeys and women. Is for Muhammad the same? <laughs> and and, and the, the 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 salat, you know, the prayer will be finished or delayed. From, uh, yeah. uh, and not only that, uh, even Muhammad, when he speak about Aisha, that he is favorite his his, his favorite wife. Do you know what he say about her? What Muhammad he compare between her and and a dish of food. So he say Aisha is the best dishes for me. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine you talk about your wife. She say like my wife is my tabuli. <laughs> You're not a bully. <laughs> my wife is my wife is is is, is my rice. <laughs> but but that that but that does not make the women good. That would make the women just a dish. There's many dishes, mm -hmm. and this this woman is my best dish. But Muhammad, he like to eat them. He like to eat them all. <laughs> Brother, here in Europe, they say Islam is a wonderful religion. Islam came to give the uh, the the woman rights back. And before Islam, the women have no right. I say to them, "Do you stupid? What do you say such a thing?" In Islamic countries, the, the Muslim women are suffering about this religion. They have, they want to kill themselves because the, the religion uh, is controlling their lives. Even Aisha, she <laughs> said, "I never saw a believing woman suffering. I never saw a woman suffering as much as a believing woman." Uh, you know? Yes, Aisha's words. So I, and you know. Saying that video is going around, brother. You know the video is going around in Iran with uh, some um, uh, Iranian girls who uh, took off the hijab and say, yeah, "I yeah. want to live freedom." Mm. And some guy he tell them, "Go and put your hijab on. I will hit you." And he said, "Don't talk with me like this, and I will make everything that I want. I am free person. You have no right to say something like to, uh, this to me." And he, he uh, the two, uh, the the girl and the the man are yelling at each other. <laughs> oh, very, very hard. Yeah, but this is thing yeah. you know, that the Iranian people they are desperately looking for freedom to finish to get out of this cult. 
and all mm. what is going all is going to take um uh, uh, you know uh, like when this regime collapse iranian people they will leave islam left and right because you know yes. because the issue is uh, when you have no freedom people do not know uh, i mean how we how we know now how many people in iran they are true muslims or or like to be muslims Give, give, give them freedom, and then we will see who is a Muslim, who is not. Just give them freedom. There is no freedom. Everybody is a Muslim. As simple as that. Without a freedom, but it, we do not know who. But is, is it? One. Yeah, I know because the Mullah regime in Iran, they are uh, uh, the the young people are suffering about the uh, Mullah regime in Islam, and they. And the European uh, Iranian brainwashed uh, Euro Muslims, they say, "Oh, it is not Islam; it is the regime." I right. say to them, uh, "The regime is is whole, in, in in Islam in Iran. The regime is uh, about is Islamic law. What, what do you say about this?" They are practicing. They are practicing Islam. This is they are practicing their religion. Muta is from Islam. Beating women is from Islam. Having multi wives is from Islam. Marrying children is from Islam. This is not about the regime. This is a practice in all Islamic countries have nothing to do with the regime This is what Muhammad yeah. Muhammad was from the regime <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad was Muhammad was from the Iranian regime the Sahaba was from the Iranian regime uh, You know the same they do about Isis Isis is just doing what Islam teach as simple as that, you know Yes, I say to Every Muslim here in Europe. I say to them ISIS is for me the most authentic um, uh, version. Most of authentic. Yeah. Yes. 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 This is true. Uh, uh, the, the challenge <laughs> is the challenge is can a Muslim show us one thing ISIS did Muhammad did not do just one. It's a challenge. I will, I will see it too. Please come and uh, show us. There is no need to argue very much. I challenge you for any behavior ISIS did Muhammad did not do. Not even one. Actually, the ISIS are nicer. Brother, 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 brother. Do you know the statement of uh, Umdat al Tafsir? One of the strangest things that we know is that we are living in the time <laughs> where Muslims are uh, embarrassed to tell the truth for their Kufar friends. <laughs> they, they, uh, the, the faces are red. They, they are too shy to mention the uh, killing in, uh, in, in Jizya and everything, you know? But it's there, you know. They can they cannot hide it for long. Uh, anyone who want to say something, like we have a guy here in the text. His name is Nightmare. Yesterday we were talking about the Prophet, uh, the Muslim speaking about the Prophet. He have the power of thirty men in sex, <laughs> and he used to uh, he used to sleep with his wives, all of them in one, in twenty minutes. So this guy he called me. I suppose he is a smart Muslim. This is a, this is the best example of a smart Muslim. And guess what he said? He said the Prophet did not tell them that. I said so. How do you know? <laughs> Listen carefully to what happened. The topic is the prophet he used to f his wives, all of them, in twenty minutes. He said the prophet did not tell them that. I said how they knew. That's a disaster. If the prophet did not tell, that's even more ugly. That's mean they are watching yeah. Muhammad in his bedroom having sex. If the <laughs> if if I did not tell people what happened between me and my wife, how they will know? Well, they about it. That's See, right. So the Muslims they deny what is like it's in the front of us. It says the Prophet he used to f his wife in twenty minutes, fifteen minutes. Okay, the, he said the Prophet did not say that. So now he is supposedly he saved his Prophet ass from being exposed. But that is even more horrible because how the Muslims <laughs> how the Muslims know that this is what happened? A guy having sex with his wives. How the Muslims they knew about it if the Prophet did not tell. Unless Muhammad used to have a web camera and everybody is watching from his house <laughs> If he did not tell so the Muslims always what I'm trying to say the Muslims always they give you a stupid answer and the, 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 the second they try to answer they, they get in trouble Trying to defend mm. the stupid prophet by saying stupid things and the more they defend the more it is stupid and crazy <laughs> Yeah, and the prophet guys and and the, and the hadith saying that the prophet he used to get the power of 30 men then we asked the muslims how the how the muslims then they knew that muhammad he got the power of 30 men did they have a race in the time of muhammad about sex who can do better 
They used to have like an open tent and they're like everybody get in and the one who get tired first is a loser. <laughs> and Muhammad was the winner. He be, he did beat 30 men. 30 men is over and still the prophet is not done. He is he keep he keep going. He keep going the prophet mashallah alhamdulillah. You see it is in hadith who Muhammad lived in illusion. He thought he was sleeping with his wives, but in fact he did not. Yeah, but you know what happened here, Muhammad. I think he was having sex with something else, but he was not. Yes, sure. <laughs> I never trusted the no. prophet who was in illusion. Yeah, but this is not a dream, by the way. This is what what the hadith saying, imagining, which means this is in daytime and he is awake, and this is very dangerous. That means this man is obviously mentally ill. This is a very clear sign. You can ask any doctor who, who you know who is. Uh, who, who is this is his, his study he will tell you that there are some people they imagine things happening when I was in the mm -hmm. army uh, uh, you know uh, when I finished my service like I was delivering my paper and I met with some people there uh, everyone for his reasons there is one next to me he was sitting next to me I said so uh, you finish your service he said no the uh, uh, you know I am not a qualified uh, to serve I said what the problem he said I hear voices and right away I smile he's the way I smile I said nothing right away I remember Muhammad you know <laughs> he said I hear voices <laughs> so because if you are in the army and you hear voices it can be very dangerous because he might hear that somebody is coming and he shoot you know what I mean this is a soldier soldier he might hear something does not exist he might hear somebody give him an order to shoot and he might shoot or he might hear somebody is walking by and he shoot as a, as a friend so they have to release him now we have a prophet who imagined himself not only having sex the, there's different hadith says he imagined himself doing things in fact he did not so how this man can be trusted to be a prophet of God when he imagined himself doing things in fact he never did it can't be it's impossible it can be. yeah obviously obviously this man is suffering from mental illness and because of that mental illness problem he imagined himself doing things including you know if I go and take Muhammad to the court and I say okay Muhammad is a person I showed that the judge uh, papers about Muhammad the paper saying that this guy he imagined himself having sex but in, in fact he did not he imagined himself doing things but in fact he did not how I'm going to convince the judge that this is can be accepted even as a witness in a normal case we cannot he is not no. he is not a qualified to be a witness in any case you know how he can be a witness there's no way one of the qualifications to be a witness is to be aware of what's happening around you Muhammad he imagined things so he might imagine me killing that some someone and he say I saw him he might imagine me you know saying something I did not say it so how the Muslims they take such a person for granted he imagined, but yet they believe that he saw an angel. And the angel came and said to him, go and fight the uh, Jewish uh, guys, you know? <clears throat> yeah, but the most important thing, the angel, he told him, I find it mere funny. Uh, uh, the angel, he took him in the top of a flying mule, have two, uh, two wings, and he told him, he took him to the seven heaven, and then the angel, he offered him a cup of milk and a cup of wine. And the prophet he chose not to drink wine question muslims why the prophet he chose to drink milk not wine isn't it the heaven of allah halal to drink wine there muhammad was in heaven yeah. remember muhammad was in heaven <laughs> so what the problem <laughs> there's a river of yeah. wine there you are a promised right. wine but brother where we can find the alcohol in allah's heaven in surah 47 15. We can find the the alcohol surahs in many places. Actually, not I mean not only in the Quran, but there is many places speaking about about the alcohol. But the 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 funny thing about Muhammad that he in one verse he claimed that alcohol is a great product and it's a miracle of yeah. of, uh, of Allah. Yeah. It is not. It is not something to be ashamed of. It is a miracle. It's a sign from Allah. And he is even saying that it is to make good and money from it. If you go to chapter 16, verse number 67, you will see the Muslim mm -hmm. translation saying, and uh, uh, and from the fruits of, of the date palm and vine, 
you get out wholesome drink and food actually it says you make a drink to, to make you drunk and from that you make good money and good product from it and this is a sign from your God so <laughs> the, the alcohol the beer the whiskey is a sign from Allah but in different place Muhammad he said he said that the alcohol is from shaitan so which one yeah. is the correct one is it from shaitan you know or it is from Allah and then we find that Allah himself is a promise in us in the heaven alcohol but brother in 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 the Quran is no such a thing uh, like contradiction don't say something like this no way and I mean this is no, the, 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 Muslim, the, the Muslims will kill me my friend what are you talking about there's no contradiction in the Quran absolutely <laughs> we, we cannot say that no way I mean the Quran is a book is perfect book you know <laughs> but I think I think in this the Muslim they will find a solution for this they will say to you Allah was talking about uh, American beer <laughs> you know, American beer is haram. American beer is not good. You know, actually, and it's proven by science that American beer is not good. Proven by science. You know, but the the the, the funny, uh, uh, what Muhammad happened to Muhammad when Muhammad was healthy, his followers was drinking and going drunk like crazy. Even there, there's a verse in the Quran that says, "Don't get close to 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 pray when you are drunk." The Muslim they used to go to pray and they are drunk, totally drunk. Yeah. You know? Don't come near the mosque when you are drunk. Yeah, this is what the Quran is saying. Why? Because the Muslims was drinking. They were they were drinking, and they are unaware what it says. Here we go. The verse in the front of us it says, chapter four, verse number forty-three. Approach not the prayer when you are drunk. You are what? You are totally drunk. Why Allah at that time did not say? Uh, uh, the, the 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 alcohol is bad. Look what it's doing for you. But because the Muslim they say Islam come in stages. Ah, so Allah yeah. Allah compromise. Allah he compromised. Why the God of Moses did not compromise? What compromise? Compromise because he was weak at that time. He cannot force people to drink not to drink. So he said to them, Don't come to the prayer when you are drunk. You are coming. <laughs> what kind of believers those believers are in the time of Jesus? In the time of Jesus, people used to drink. How come we don't see any of the apostle of Jesus around Jesus? They are drunk when they are praying. Amen. Amen. You know why we don't see anyone accord, you know, according to the to that even the, the Muslims. This has happened only in Islam. Mm. The, Brother, yeah. is there is there hadith and a hadith in which Muhammad drink uh, alcohol? Uh, actually, there's uh, yeah, there's uh, there's many hadith actually speaking not only about Muhammad drinking alcohol. Uh, you can show up. Muhammad, uh, yeah, Muhammad, uh, he used even to teach them how to make wine. He's expert, you know. Uh, actually, actually, here, look, I just search in YouTube. I just search in YouTube for a second, and those are the Muslim scholars in the videos in Arabic. Anyone, he can go. Anyone can go and look at those videos. Sheikh Al Arifi. This is the title. Sheikh Al Arifi says that the Prophet used to drink wine. This is the other Sheikh. His name is Muhammad Al Arur, saying that the Prophet used to drink wine. Those are <laughs> those are scholars of Islam. You know, those are scholars, and those are their videos. Speaking of them drinking wine, and look how many people they watch the video. Seven hundred sixty-five thousand and fifty-six people. All right. Wow. And the title is, as you see, this is a very famous scholar, Saudi scholar. This is this is not a like this is a big deal guy. You know. So it is not a secret. There are scholars. They say it in Saudi TV. It's in public. It's not. You know. They they, they used to drink and he used to teach the Muslims how to make wine. So why Allah did not tell him from the beginning, Muhammad, why you are doing that? And why he did not tell him, shame on you to teach them how to make wine? Yes. <laughs> you know? And the Quran actually proved that Allah himself, himself praising the, 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 uh, the, uh, the alcohol, you know? Praising it. It's a sign from Allah. It's a miracle from Allah. It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, 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 Muhammad <laughs> explaining, explaining you getting drunk. Yeah. You getting drunk is a miracle from Allah. Let me get it. Let, let me make a miracle for Allah now. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You know, each time you see a drunk person, this is a sign from Allah. You better convert, right?
Yeah, I make it popular on, on my site on Facebook, you know. 10,000 people, 10,000 people uh, look at this uh, narration that I gave them uh, from Sahih Muslim, in which Muhammad drank uh, wine and the word is Nabid. You know, Nabid. Right, right. Mm. You see, but the problem is, let, let me, you know what, let me, let me see if I can send you the link about the video. So you can, you can show them because you see, they will accuse you to be a liar. You know what I mean? So it, it is better if you maybe if you copy those uh, videos and then you show it to them. Let me go back. I will send you the link right away. Uh, uh, and you can play it for them in your video. This says, okay, you know what? You accuse me of lying. Here we go. This is your scholar saying that in Arabic. Who is going to accuse him to be a liar? This is Muhammad al Araifi. Let me send you the link. I'll just copy it. Uh, here we go. You have the video there. You can, you can, you, you will not understand it's in Arabic, but who care? They are. My, my wife. Uh, right, she, she speaks Arabic right. And understand Arabic. right. Your wife, she speaks Arabic, so she can translate for you. Uh, actually, maybe she can make a yeah. subtitle for the video. So this is the sheikh speaking about the prophet drinking wine, and this is a Saudi sheikh in a Saudi government TV. Do you think anyone there in Saudi Arabia, Sheikh <laughs> Muhammad Al Arifi, Muhammad Al Arifi is number maybe number one sheikh in Saudi Arabia? Do you think he will dare to say such a statement unless it's true? Not only yeah, not yeah. only he will lose his job, he will lose his head if this is not true. <laughs> all of us we knew. Yeah, all of us we knew what Islam is about. He will not say it, but because he he's, because he's saying the truth, he's not lying. You know? <laughs> man, man, man. Yeah. Uh, everything is based on killing in this in this religion, huh? But, but you know the problem is Muhammad he for, uh, supposed the Islam is a good religion because it's forbid wine but Islam replaced the wine by camel piss <laughs> I mean look at this wise religion okay okay you don't want to drink wine don't drink wine no problem but what but, but you replace the wine with camel piss you know like you could not find something better or make it uh, you know oh actually yesterday we were talking about the Quran promising the Muslims uh, to drink ginger you know G yeah. Ginger, have you ever heard of God? He promised me in heaven that I will have a promise from God to drink wine mixed with ginger. What kind of wine the wine is mixed with ginger? And why Muhammad is promising us wine mixed with ginger? He could not find better cocktail. Is that a cocktail of Allah? <laughs> ginger, ginger and wine, they go together. How do they work together? How we can make this work together? I, I, you know, I advise the Muslims. I, I know all of you Muslims, you drink like crazy. You know, in the Middle East, in the Middle East, Christians, this is true. Christians, they sell, they sell wine. Muslims are the one who buy it. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Everybody knows that. You know, it's, uh, I'm being honest. You can ask anyone. The Christ, yeah, Christians, they open stores. Send, you know, a Christian guy, he have, he have a grocery store. He's not open uh, just uh, selling wine. He have uh, a grocery store and the, the shelf there's everything people they grab whatever they want Muslims are number one buyers for the wine so they say they are we are we are against drinking but the fact they are number one drinking people in Saudi Arabia every year tons of people they die because they drink perfume you believe it this is how much they are obsessed uh, 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 you know with with the with the drinking uh, however uh, we have a God who promised us that he will will uh, we have somebody calling hold on who's calling us I don't know who's calling we missed him bring him here bring him here brother yeah we well, missed him call back I don't know if you are a Muslim call me if, if not don't no need for now uh, <laughs> yeah we want we want uh, we want Muslims only if we go in the Quran in chapter 76 verse number 17 it says that Allah is going to give them a drink the mix of it is uh, ginger and wine okay, why and why Allah is mixing is that a diet 
Is, is that the secret uh, recipe? <laughs> From all the things in the world, you could not find something better than ginger with wine? The, the answer is very simple. The Arab, they like ginger. Actually, this is the only drink they knew. They find it in their ground. So they they are, it's like now people, they drink coffee. You know, Arab, they don't drink. Really, uh, coffee is something new in the, in the Arab tradition. Uh, but still people they say uh, Arabica coffee why I do not know we buy coffee like everybody <laughs> you know <laughs> we have nothing to do with the coffee coffee doesn't grow <laughs> in our land we don't we don't sell coffee we buy coffee <laughs> like everybody but anyway uh, at that time Zanjabil ginger is very uh, famous a drink for all the Arab they drink it every day so Muhammad he knew what they like they like wine and they like Zanjabil which is ginger so he promised them you know what you are going to get not only wine, it's mixed with Jenzebeel. <laughs> Let us see who's this guy. Hello? Hello. Oh, what's up? Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? No, no, I'm Muslim. I am Iryan Atan. Oh, Iryan. Okay, sorry. All right. I don't know. if. Let me see if I can make you join the conversation with us. Um, ah, okay. Let me see. I have, because I have, uh, let me see how I can do that. Uh, oh, okay. 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 Uh, let, okay. Let me let me hang up on you and call you back. Okay. See if I make you. Yeah, I, can, okay. I can make you join with us in the conversation because uh, some reason I don't know how to do it. Let me do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. okay the All right, we have uh, your, your friend, uh, what his name, Ethan, I think, is calling us. Yeah, yeah uh, let me Elia. let me see how, how I can invite him here uh, to join uh -huh. us. All right. Uh, okay, hold. Uh, I'm not really expert with. Uh, uh, okay, plus. Okay, I, I I think now I am inviting him. He is receiving my call. All right, are you with us? Hello? I think he's with Yo, us. Yo, brother, I'm here. Is this me? Yeah, it's early. Yes, yeah, it's that. What? I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going, I'm going, to, I'm going to go and learn German now. Let me speak some German. Afschisch, <laughs> Afschisch <laughs> macht. Yeah, my English is not good. Your English is yeah. not good. My my German is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> the only word I know in German yeah, yeah. is a Frankfurt. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bruder, vielleicht kannst du was um, in bisschen übersetzen? Yeah, I try to translate it a little right. bit for you. Okay. Yeah, I, try. I have. A, also ich habe viel über diese satanische Verse nachgeforscht. Okay, warte, ein Satz nach oben. He said, and he was very thinking about the satanic verses. Yes. Das Problem ist, dass diese Gelehrten alle behaupten, dass es schwach ist. Okay, warte. The, the problem of this issue is that the, most of the opinion of the scholars uh, say that it's not true, the um, story. Yeah. Genau. Mm. Okay. Weil Ibn Kathir sagt zum Beispiel, dass es äh, ja wie dass es so da ist, dass es schwach ist, ja, weil die über okay. überliefern uns. Okay, the the chain of narrators from Ibn Kathir and the narration of Ibn Kathir is daif. Mm. Okay, let let us see how we answer this. Is the Quran daif? Okay. Is the Quran daif? No. No, the Quran, the Quran in chapter 22, verse number 52, Allah saying that shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad. So let us yeah, say, let us say Ibn Kathir is a liar, etc. Daif, Daif, Daif. What Daif mean? Daif, by the way, is accepted. Daif is not rejected. Yeah, you know. Daif is not rejected. Daif is accepted. You can go right now and search for a video by Sheikh Hamza, and he will tell you that Daif hadith, it passed. It did not funk. This is, I'm quoting what he said. Translate for him. Ja, also äh, im Islam gibt es äh, 
Islam ist es so, dass sogar die daif hadithe äh, akzeptiert werden. Weil du weißt ja, es gibt ja Ali Juma, den größten Al-Fatwa gelehrten. Der sagt zum Beispiel, ja. dass es, äh, die daif hadithe sind in anderen Überlieferungen stark und die manche andere Hadithe sind in anderen Überlieferungen schwach. Verstehst du, was ich meine? Du musst ein wirklicher Hadith-Experte sein, um sowas drauf zu haben, wo ja. eine schwach ist und analyse stark ist verstehst du das können nur so islam wissen yeah. yeah. and, and then what we will do what we will do with the quran because the quran is the one saying that shaitan he throw in the mouth of muhammad so now the muslim need to tell us what exactly he throw in the mouth of muhammad which allah will take it oh. from the quran not from the hadith he will not take it from yeah. Sahih bukhari he will not take it from yeah. the book of ibn kathir he will take it from the quran yeah. if we go in the quran chapter 22 he can read with my, with us Chapter 22, yeah. verse number 52, it says, There's no, uh, not even a single prophet or, or a messenger, but shaitan he throw in his in his mouth, and Allah will delete whatever shaitan he throw in the mouth from where? From the Quran. Yes. So it is in the Quran. So now we have a Quran from shaitan. <laughs> so now, so what, what Ibn Kathir, who care about Ibn Kathir? We are sure. No, yeah. yeah, translate for him. Okay, er sagt äh, in dem Falle, äh, lass mal die Gelehrten jetzt beiseite, er sagt ja genau das, was ich dir auch gesagt habe. Lass uns zu Sura 22, äh, Sura 22, Vers 52 gehen. Dort steht, dass Allah sagte, dass er die Verse rausholen wird. Und der Bruder Christi ja, Prinz sagt, ja, was sind denn die Verse, wenn das alles ja, keine Lüge ja, ist? Was sind denn die Verse, die der äh, Satan da eingeschreut hat, die Allah äh, zunichte macht? Ja, so, ich muss nicht mal antworten, wenn das alles gelogen ist. Aber Allah prüft das doch und sagt, ja, das stimmt. Ich habe die Verse rausgenommen. Und dann ja, fragt ich, also ich sag, Ja, ich sage ja nicht, dass die Geschichte nicht stimmt. Ich sage nur, okay. wenn man von... Äh, sondern es geht einfach nur darum, ich, also ich glaube zu 100 Prozent, dass Mohammed vom Satan ist und dass er diese kleine Verse bekommen hat. Das sowieso. <lacht> Aber es geht mir nur darum, äh, was ich zu den Muslimen auch immer wieder sage, ist, ähm, der Koran gibt das ja her. Und äh. Äh, ich meine nur, das Problem ist, wenn man von Ibn Kathir zitiert und wenn er dann sagt, das sind schwach, dann, okay. dann äh, durfte man okay. das nicht. Äh, nicht an, weil, ja, an, ne? weil ich sage ja immer so, weil zum Beispiel, dass, wenn zum Beispiel Ibn Nisach davon berichtet, äh, wenn zum Beispiel Al-Qurtubi, Tafsir al jalale Ibn Kathir, Ibn Masud, wenn die das alle berichten, ja, dann muss das doch irgendwas dahinter ja, stecken. Und, ja. ja, und das ist doch normal, dass sie ihren satanischen Propheten, ja, dass sie ihn schön reden wollen. Wenn die, selbstverständlich, oder nicht, ne? Ja. Ja, was ich meine. Uh, brother, I will translate for you. Yeah. Um, he says when he is in the debate with uh, some Muslims and he will Uh, bring it up with uh, the satanic verses and he uh, br bring the tafsir of uh, Ibn Kathir and At-Tabari and Al-Jalalain uh, and um, the narration of this um, uh, story. He says, I, I believe the story is 100% true and uh, Muhammad is a satanic person for me. <laughs> There is no doubt about it. But uh, in the case, in a debate, when you are stepping in a debate and say uh, that uh, Ibn Kathir said something and he said that the, the chain of narrators is daif and the other uh, scholars say it too. But we have the problem that you say it now, um, because in uh, Surah 22, verse uh, 52, it says that uh, Allah take out what sa Satan was throwing in. Then we have to ask us, What was this verse that is Allah is taken out? You know, brother? Yeah, yeah you see, and uh, we have Tafsir al baghawi Let me let me send you the link. You can share it with him. It's in Arabic, but he can translate. You will see that uh, according to al baghawi the story is authentic. It's not uh, uh, weak. So this is opinion of a scholar. There is a scholar. He say it is weak. He don't agree with it. But still, they cannot deny that shaitan, yes, he throw in the mouth of Muhammad. What they don't agree with is what happened after about Muhammad. Did he bow down? Did he uh, worship the daughters of Allah or not? Uh, this is what they don't agree with. What they agree with, 
that Muhammad he receives satanic verses because this is in the Quran. The Quran is saying that he receives satanic ver uh, verses, and Allah will delete yeah. them. Allah will delete what if there is nothing anyway? Allah, will, how Allah will delete it from where? Allah will yes. delete it from what he throw. Remember, Muhammad he claim that everything he say is coming from Allah. Wa huwa illa wahyun yuha. Everything, uh, 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 everything Muhammad he receive is a wahi, and wahi is what is an inspiration. So Muhammad he never speak of his own. Everything he say mm -hmm. is an inspiration, especially when he speak about God. You know, so Muhammad is speaking and Muhammad receiving verses from the devil. This is what the Quran confirm. If the Muslim he will say I don't agree with it, this means he have to deny the Quran. Same time. Why they are stuck in with the a scholar? They don't like, you know. They, they say the scholar he said that this is a weak, but the scholar cannot deny it because it says all what he said. We are not sure if this is exactly what happened, but he's not denying it. You know, mm -hmm. he is not denying mm -hmm. that Al Baghawi, Al Baghawi, he confirmed the story. And if we go in Ibn Kathir, if we go to Ibn Kathir, let me open Ibn Kathir so everybody will see. You know the problem is that people, people, uh, people they, yeah, people they read. You see, people they read. Uh, 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 most of the most of them they read Muslim translation. You know, uh, but Muslim translation is not really accurate. Wait a second. Do you show show us uh, now in the screen? Let me show you first Al Baghawi in the screen. Here we go. Okay, Bruder, er zeigt uns den äh, gelehrten al baghawi der das bestätigt, dass die satanischen Verse wirklich authentisch sind. Ja. Es ist nur eine Meinungsverschiedenheit, was danach passiert ist. Ja. Hat er jetzt wirklich sich niedergekniet oder was ist danach wirklich passiert? Weil die Geschichte ist wirklich wahr, aber die sind sich uneinig, was passiert ist. Verstehst du? Ja. Yeah. If, if, yeah. We ask, if we ask now any Muslim, who is more higher, Ibn Abbas or Ibn Kathir? Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad. In the front of me it says, that Ibn Abbas said, Qala Ibn Abbas wa, wa Muhammad Ibn Ka'b al Quradi. Ibn Abbas and Muhammad Ibn Ka'b al Quradi, both they said, and many of the Mufassirin, many of the scholars, they said, when the Prophet, uh, 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 like he uh, uh, he found like there is differentiation between, let us go to the story right away. When he, the Prophet, he, he arrived reading, When the Prophet was reading, reciting the chapter of Al Najm. And he arrived to the verse that says, Do you see Allah and Al-Uzza and Manad the third? The shaitan throw in his tongue mm -hmm. in which he liked to him to say as he wished. And he said, and now Ibn Abbas is quoting what the Prophet said. Those are the Gharaniq, the daughters of Allah. It, the, their, their intercession is a must to ask for. And then continue, mm -hmm. continue. The one is talking until now is who? Is not Al Baghawi. Al Baghawi is reporting what Ibn Abbas said. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad. This is not anyone. Remember, Ibn Abbas is the only person Muhammad he named as a scholar for Islam. Muhammad okay. he did not name anyone. Muhammad he said, May Allah make Ibn Abbas Hebrew Imma, which means the ink of a scholarship of the whole nation. So Ibn Abbas yeah. he have a prayer, special prayer from Muhammad, not to say wrong, not to not to teach wrong. And there is no way Allah will not accept the prayer of the Prophet, you know. <laughs> so here Ibn Abbas saying, and Shaitan he uh, he throw in his tongue. Those are the three daughters Al Qarani of Allah, and their intercession is a must to ask for. And then when Quraysh they heard this, they were so happy. And then the Prophet he continued reading, so he read all those words, and then he bow down at the end of the reading. And the, the Muslims they bow down with him, and whoever was in the mosque bow down, except uh -huh. nobody, nobody, except one person. His name is Al Walid ibn Mughira. There's only one person, mm -hmm. and, and, and he add one person more, wa Abu Uhay Hasaid ibn Laas. So everybody was in Muhammad present. The Muslims and the Kuffar, both they bow down worshiping the three daughters of Allah and you will see here he is not saying this is weak he is he's quoting Ibn Abbas to witness for this now das ist nicht es er zitiert Ibn Abbas ist dieser al Barawi er zitiert diese Geschichte und sagt Ibn Abbas sagt dass es das wahr ist er benutzt gerade diese Geschichte er soll mir einfach mal diesen Link mal schicken okay send him this link ja yeah all right no problem 
Aber ich habe hier, ich habe hier zum Beispiel auch von Ibn, Ibn Kathir, ja? Okay, he has a translation in German, the, the Ibn Kathir uh, exegesis. Ja, und in uh, Surah Al-Dua, uh, Surah Al-Dua, uh, steht sogar, dass Mohammed uh, seine drei Tage lang nicht seine Gebete nicht verrichten konnte. Na. Weil er vom Shatan besucht wurde. Okay. <lacht> uh, brother, yeah. uh, in Surah in Al-Dua, Uh, the Muhammad uh, can, uh, can't uh, uh, pray for three days because um, Satan uh, was uh, humiliating him or something like this. Yeah, uh, no, the, uh, yeah, regarding this story, let me show him a hadith which is funny. Just to show him, <laughs> just to show him how Muhammad himself, he confirmed that he received command from the devil. If we go to the hadith, we will find this. Uh, show it in the screen, brother. Yeah, yeah, I'm, show, I'm showing, I'm showing in the screen. Bruder, guck in den äh, Monitor, der zeigt dir das jetzt. Guck bei dem auf dem Monitor. And, and, and I send him the link already about Al-Baghawi. You know, if you, okay. if you see the same story he's talking about, we can find it in the Hadith. It says, read with me carefully. It says, uh, Ibn Mas'ud reported that the Messenger of Allah may peace, etc. Allah pray on him. There's none amongst you. Muhammad is talking. Muhammad is talking, saying, there's none amongst you whom is not uh, Allah, attached yeah. from amongst the jinn, the devil. They, the companions, so Muhammad is saying every human being he have a devil as a companion. They said, they said who? The Muslims, they said, Allah, a messenger, would you too? Thereupon, he said, yes, yes, but Allah helps me against him, so I am safe from his hand. He does not command me, but for good. Shaitan is commanding Muhammad. He's saying that the shaitan, he command me. Wow, you see, this is the hadith. This is, this, is sahih, this is Sahih Muslim saying that Shaitan he command me. Explain to him. I don't know if he got what I'm saying in English. Okay, uh, also in dem Hadith geht es darum, dass sogar Satan dem Muhammad uh, Dinge befiehlt zu tun und Muhammad macht das auch heftig. Ne? Ja, diese, uh, ja, diese, uh, diese Hadith, kennst du das? Ja, yeah, aber auch hier uh, spricht er aber auch hier in ich, ich weiß nicht, ob er die Geschichte kennt in Surah Al-Dua. Ähm, dort, wird, dort wird auch eine Gegebenheit, das ist im, im, im Koran, in der Sura. Und hier wird er auch gesteuert. Das heißt, er wusste nicht mal, wie er, wie er mal beten konnte oder so. Ja, das ist, ja. Genau, das heißt hier von Ibn Kathir, das heißt, er sagt hier, dass der Shatan ihn drei Tage lang besuchte, indem er einmal krank wurde. Und er wusste nicht mal, wie er beten konnte, weil, weil der Schatan bei ihm gewesen ist. Später hat der Schatan ihn verlassen, nach, nachdem Allah ihn und ihn davon befreit hat. Aber drei Tage lang konnte er nicht mal beten. Da heißt es, oh Mann, ich sehe, dass der Schatan mich verlassen hat. So offenbarte Allah, der Morgen hell und der Nacht, wenn es alles so möglich der hat sich weder von dir verabschiedet, noch hasst er dich. Hier sehen wir auch ganz klar, dass, dass, dass zum Beispiel bei Jesus, als er in der Wüste war, hatte er das dann überhaupt gar keine Macht hatte. So, ne? ja, ähm, ja. Aber bei Mohammed schon. Deswegen glaube ich zu 100%, dass Mohammed diese tamische Verse in den Mund bekommen hat. So oder so. Aber auch, dass er gesteuert wurde. So, ne? mm -hmm. Ja, ja, klar. Weil, um, brother, he says that in Surah Al-Dur, uh, the uh, Shaitan came to him and uh, he make Muhammad, he visit Muhammad uh, three days and he don't can pray and uh, and after the three days uh, uh, Shaitan left him and uh, they uh, ke ke uh, Muhammad uh, was uh, uh, like in a position he, he can uh, 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 pray and something like this, you know? Yeah, because uh, because, uh, because Shaitan, he was watching porn with the Prophet. I mean, why he cannot, the Shaitan, he left. <laughs> If the shaitan is left, why he cannot pray anymore? I mean, what's the problem? And where was where was Allah when shaitan was around him? You see, Muhammad, Muhammad in the Quran. Yeah, Muhammad, he have tons places where he says, if you say the name of Allah three times, shaitan will not get close to you. If you enter the bathroom, if you say a prayer, may Allah, you know, protect me and from shaitan, shaitan will be invisible. You will be invisible for shaitan in the bathroom. So Muhammad was teaching us how to be invisible from shaitan everywhere. How come he could not be invisible? There's a story, translate for him. 
There's a story where yeah. Muhammad even he tied the shaitan to the column of the mosque. He cut, yes. him, he cut him and he tied him up to the column of the mosque. How come he was not, was not able to tie, to tie this guy there, the shaitan? I think this guy, the shaitan who came to Muhammad in that case, he played karate. You know, he was like a Brosley from Brosley school. He played King, <laughs> he, he, he play King Fu, you know, so Muhammad was not able to play with him. Have you ever heard of somebody capturing a genie and holding him in the column of the mosque and he released him just before his friends arrive? He told them, you know what? Just before you arrive, just now, 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 I let him go. Prophet, why you let him go? Why you let him go? He said, I remember my brother Abraham. Like, what the heck? What does have to do with Abraham? People, they want to see the shaitan. They are dying to see the shaitan. Let us see the shaitan. So he captured the shaitan. He tied him to the column. And a second before they arrive, he let him go. Yes, yes, yes. Like if you, yeah, have, Buddha, like if you yeah, say to me, if you, if you say to me, oh, Amiro, if you came just a minute before, uh, President Trump, he was in my house, but he just left. I mean, he just left I'm, I'm a second ago. He just left. Okay, translate for him. <laughs> yeah, also es gibt in, hier im Koran äh, das äh, was war das? Aber das war sehr viel, was der gerade gebracht hat, sehr, sehr heftig. Ähm, ja, also dass der äh, Shaitan den irgendwie äh, war das ich, ich, ich weiß nicht mehr genau das war jetzt so viel mein Gott das ist wenn er sehr viel wenn er sehr viel spricht dann kann man nicht alles hinterher reden ja auf jeden Fall im Dings im Koran heißt es ja wenn du dreimal irgendwie den Namen Allahs rufst oder wenn du zum Beispiel in die Toilette gehst dann wird und den Bismillah und sowas sagt weißt du was ich meine den Namen Allahs immer an kann der Satan dir nichts anhaben, verstehst du, was ich meine? Das ist alles eine Lüge, weil der Satan ja mit äh, ständig mit Muhammad unterwegs und mit Muhammad ja voll unter Kontrolle hat, weißt du, was ich meine? Die, And, uh, brother, yeah, do, do you see the brother, hadith, Amiro, do you see the hadith in front of you? I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I don't have screen because I am with my mobile phone. Oh, uh, okay, let me, let me send you the link. Here is the story of Muhammad cursing the shaitan, the shaitan who came to him. The Muhammad is fighting fighting the shaitan and the funny here is getting really exciting so Allah messenger uh, 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 stood up to pray and we heard him say I seek refuge in Allah from thee which mean the Muslims are wrong but they cannot see anyone only Muhammad can see the shaitan then they said uh, uh, then, then said yeah he cannot uh, only he he can see the shaitan the Muslims are around you see <laughs> so he stood and he say I curse thee I curse thee three times why three times Muslims are you Trinity people do you believe in the name of the Father the Son the Holy Spirit why he is cursing him three times what about four what about five times so I curse thee I curse thee three times and then and then after Muhammad he said I curse thee three times he stretched out his hand uh, uh, as a throw he was taking a hold of something the Muslims are watching Muhammad now he opened his hand as if he's trying to hold something obviously this guy is crazy so he sees something in front of him he want to catch him so he stretched his hand to catch him. When he finished the prayer, we said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, we heard something. You say something during the prayer, which we have not heard you <laughs> say before. And uh, we saw you stretch out your hand. He replied, Allah, enemy Iblis, came with a flame of fire to put it in my face. Like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> What a religion! What a religion, man! Uh, give, give, give this hadith to uh, to Eden so he can, you know, uh, he can translate. Maybe I, he can use he can use Google. He can you uh, he can use Google to translate. But here, Muhammad, brother, obviously, Muhammad brother, is suffering from illusion, you know. Brother, I will give any link that you sent me. I sent him that we can use it for debates, you know. Right. Because right. the Muslims are so sneaky and they try to. You uh, run away from uh, the Muslim sources because they don't can deny this so much. They have to lie about it, you know. Right. And, and uh, brother Mike, uh, brother Elia, and I am sick about it uh, of this lying uh, um trash, you know. Yeah. And and look here, the shaitan he is trying to put fire in the face of the prophet. 
I mean, <laughs> what is, and how come nobody can see the fire except Muhammad? You know, and Muhammad is stretching his hand to hold him. Did you hold him, Muhammad? Did you call? Did you, like, why you are why why you're trying to hold him? Obviously, this guy is a crazy. You know, imagine I'm standing be between you, and then I say, I curse you, I curse you, I curse you three times, and then I stretch my hand when I hold something. And the Muslims are praying around him, like what this prophet is doing, you know. And so obviously, so this guy is going mad. And then after he finished, he did not explain to them what happened. He waited for them to ask, and maybe he didn't even notice what he did, or maybe he's acting, waiting for them to ask. I don't know. So after he finished screaming and trying to hold the shaitan, they ask him why you did that. He said, When I was trying to pray, shaitan, he come and he tried to put some fire in my face. I mean, this shaitan is really evil. He is he is lighting matches in the face of the prophet. <coughs> Muslims, do you think that the prophet, the, the shaitan, was smoking a cigar? Think you why we have no Muslims to call to talk with him? Because he is expert in Islam. He can tell you every single hadith, every single mule that he has found. Understand? Yeah. There is no one who can call him and ask him to debate. But he is not the master of Islam. And look, the story, the story is not over. The story is not over. Muhammad now he say, Muhammad he said here after this happened, uh, I, I after I cursed him three times, uh, but he did not retreat, which means he did not run away. All right, three occasions. Therefore, I meant to size him. I swear by Allah that I had not been for a, a supplication of my brother Sulaiman, he would have been bound and made an object of support to the children of Medina. So Muhammad here in this story, he claimed that he uh, he was going to size him and he was going to hold him in jail. But because he remember Sulaiman's story, you know, otherwise he was going to hold him. But because I remember the story, but in different place, Muhammad he mentioned that he did tie him to, to the to the column already. So obviously Muhammad is receiving command from the devil. This guy is is possessed, you know. Mm -hmm. and even the Muslims, the Muslims, if we go right now, you will see the Muslims says that the Prophet was bewitched. You know the most yes, yeah. al was the guy, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, the, the Aisha she said the prophet was bewitched. When you say bewitched, it's mean that he was possessed by the devil. You know, the, we know that the magic is not exist. We don't believe in magic. We believe that mm -hmm. there's there's evil spirit, there is the devil, and that is what happened to someone he is possessed with the devil. So Muhammad himself mm -hmm. and the Muslims. They agree that Muhammad was bewitched. If you go right now to the English dictionary and see what bewitched, read with me. Aisha, she said, one the prophet, once the prophet was bewitched, so that he began, <laughs> yeah, so, so that he began to imagine that he done things, but in fact he did not. Muhammad, <laughs> need, <laughs> Muhammad need the healing of Jesus. Muhammad need the healing of Jesus. If somebody is bewitched, if if somebody is bewitched, okay. how we can fight the bewitch? How we can find the, the the demon by Jesus? So Muhammad himself needed need to be saved by Jesus. Also Muhammad said, "We must get English from uh, from Jesus. Uh, How do you call that? Yeah, rescued. Do you know what I mean? But only the Jesus can get the people, the demons, out of the house. Yeah, naturally. Brother, please, uh, brother, please explain for us how Satan make babies in uh, Islam." Well, uh, uh, you know, this is a true story. <laughs> brother, brother, show us the hand where, uh, All right. where Satan is left. Uh, uh, left leg, we have a penis, and in the other leg, we have uh, a vagina. Is that, is that true? The hadith? Where is the hadith? Uh, this is actually, uh, this is actually, data. That is, uh, actually, it's coming from the Quran. The Quran speak about Shaitan, he have a children. You know the Quran speak about Shaitan. He have a children. So the Muslim try to ex explain how Shaitan have a children. Because remember, remember the story of Adam and Eve that uh, uh, only one one Shaitan he disobey Allah. So the Muslims, in order to explain how that happened, uh, they come with the conclusion based on their prophet story that Shaitan he must be when he was kicked out from heaven because Allah he kicked him only alone. There was no other Shaitan. They call him Iblis. Which is from, yeah, yeah. So, uh, 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 so uh, when when the when the Quranic speak about uh, the offspring of Shaitan, if you read with me here, in chapter eighteen, verse number fifty 
Allah says to them. Chapter 18, Bruder. Chapter 18, verse 15. Ich schreibe das auf. Suche 18, Vers 15. Ja. Allah, he says to the Muslim, to, to the supposed to the Muslims, are you going to ask the genie and his children's as someone to follow as protectors? So here the problem is how genie, how genie, he is he have a children's, how that can happen, you know. So the Muslims, mm -hmm. you see here, you, you will you choose him and his seed for your uh, for protecting friends instead of me. So the Quran confirmed clearly that Shaitan have seeds, have a children. All right. Now, in order to solve this problem, Muhammad he come with this with the following story. Say that the Shaitan he have a penis in the right leg. Because remember, there's no other Shaitan, there's no female. So like we, we like we have Adam and Eve, so we can solve the problem with Adam and Eve. But now we have one Shaitan. He was kicked out of heaven. We don't have two shaitan, male shaitan and female shaitan. It was only one. So now how he will yeah, have kids? How we, how we will I have... Can't. Yeah. Translate to him. What's my dear? Er meint, es gibt ja nur einen Satan, der aus dem Himmel geschmissen worden ist. Es gibt ja nicht zwei Satan, drei Satan. Jetzt müssen wir gucken, wie der die Babys ja. gemacht hat. Die Dämonen im Islam haben Kinder. So, und wie sind jetzt, wie, wie kommen denn die Kinder zustande von den Dämonen? Okay, brother, explain to us how the, uh, the, the demonic uh, uh, child will come out of the, 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 the Satan. <laughs> All right, I will, I, will, uh, uh, I will show the reference so people will not say that we are making things up as usual you know? we bring reference yeah because you know if you say things from your own they will say this guy is lying you know there's no way it says yeah i know the muslims because i many of years i was talking to them everything is lying you are all liars you are all liars yeah it is not normal you know Brother Michael and I, we are the biggest liars in Germany and we don't know nothing about Islam and, <laughs> you know, we, we show them from Sahih Bukhari, from Sahih Muslim, from Sunan al tirmidhi from Majah, from, from Sunan Abu Dawood, but they say you are liars. <laughs> yeah, you see, this is, this is, in the front of me, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Okay, cool, Bruder, let's take it. This is? The Saudi website, read with me in the top. It says Quran KSU.education.sa. Saudi government. Send me this link, brother. Send me this link, please. Yeah. I will send you the link. And this is the Tafsir Al Qurtubi. Al Qurtubi. Let me yeah. send you the link. All right. In Al Qurtubi, it says the following. Remember, this is okay. Al Qurtubi saying, not me. I have nothing to do with it. Okay. Yeah. So here it says, uh, الشعبي, the Shabi reported that Sa'ali Rajul, a man he asked me, Do we please have a wife? Halli Iblis Azoja. So I said, In uh, uh, this is a this is a wedding party I did not witness. <laughs> Then I mentioned to him, his his mentioning in the Quran where he said that are you going to take him and his seed and his children as protectors and leaders and defenders? So I learned from that there's no way he is going to have children unless he have a wife. So I said to him, yes. Then Mujahid said, now this is Mujahid. This is not a kidding guy. This is a real serious uh, uh, name in Islam. He said, Inna yeah. Iblis, Iblis, Shaitan. He enter into his vagina, into into himself, by by the by the penis of himself, and then he lay, wow. he lay five eggs, and this is the origin of his children. And okay, he, let me translate. Yeah, so it was five egg, five, five eggs only first time, five eggs. Yeah. Also, this mujahid, that's a very big number in the Überlieferung, and he says that the Satan. Äh, sich selber befriedigt <lacht> also äh, quasi ein, ein Penis irgendwie an äh, si, sich selber hat und eine Vagina auf sich selber also befriedigt er sich selber und jedes Mal wenn er das macht legt er fünf Eier weißt du was ich meine <lacht> ja, nur kaputt nur kaputt ist diese Religion 
Weißt du jetzt, was ich meinte, mit wenn wir loslegen, um die islamischen Quellen zu studieren? Ja. Wenn der uns den letzten Müll zeigt. And he continues saying, and he continues saying, and it's said, and, and it is said that Allah, Allah, he created for him in the right thigh of his leg, penis, and in the left, uh -huh. in the left leg, a vagina. So he, okay. if, so he, if this by that. Okay, let me translate. Also Allah hat diesen Iblis, hat der, wie ich gerade gesagt habe, auf der rechten einem, äh, ein Penis gegeben, auf dem rechten Bein ein Penis gegeben und auf dem äh, linken Bein eine Vagina und dann macht er die ganze Zeit. And 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 Amira is is doing is doing it. <laughs> Don't do that. They will accuse you that you are the shaitan now. <laughs> okay, hold on. Stand up and let us see if you have any eggs. Do you have any eggs there? Yeah. This is so amazing. This story when you say this story to a Muslim, I I think he was. I, I think that when we say this story to a Muslim, he was so left in, uh, his, uh, uh, sorry for saying that, his ass up, you know? Yeah. This is so embarrassing and, and so laughy funny. This is this is not, not normal. This is not a story of, of, of a religion from God, you know? Yeah. Hold on, the story, this is, the story is the not most, over. The, 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 this the, is the most the, tragic story that I ever heard of. The story is not over yet, but I don't know if you translated to to uh, to Ili uh, what we said. Would you translate to him about he if himself? Yeah. Did he understand? Yeah. Did he understand? Did he yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, then he continues says, and then will 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 come out of him every day ten eggs, and from every egg is going to come out seventy male shaitan and and and, the, and shaitana, which means male and female shaitana, seventy. So from every egg 70 and every day is 70 eggs. That's mean a shaitan He will have 700 shaitan every day as babies every day, you know and Yeah, so there are 10 eggs 10 eggs from every egg 70 shaitan and then he said and every shaitan when he come out of the egg he fly <laughs> <laughs> Michael. And not, and not, only, and not only that. Crank, yeah? And not only that. At the end, at the end of this, they say, "فيتوقف هذا الأمر فيه على نقل صحيح." Okay. And then it's they they continue saying that this is was confirmed in this in this chapter from the Sahih, what is mentioned by Al Hamidi. Now they are they are going to, to continue to prove that this is true. They said that the Prophet said, "Don't be the first one to enter the market." And don't be the last one for shaitan. He lay eggs in there and they are coming out. You know what I mean? So this is actually a hadith. Mm. This is a hadith. Actually, we can show it in English. Let us see if we can find it in English. Uh, so people yes. can see it. You know, uh, here we go. We have this egg. Yeah, you see, here we go. Muhammad saying, the prophet said, no. don't. Don't uh, 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 don't be the first to enter the market or the last to leave because uh, the shaitan, the shaitan he had, you see the translation is false. The translation is false. The shaitan he lay eggs there and their eggs they hatch. That's what it says. You know. Yeah, they try to cover it up, huh? Yeah, they 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 fabricate the translation. They they are not saying really that shaitan he lay eggs. Uh, uh, in case. It lies in your power. Don't be the one who entered the bazaar first and the last to get out of because there is a shaitan. A shaitan, he lay eggs there and they, 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 they hatch, you know. <laughs> so, so this is even in the hadith. So they are confirming the interpretation from the hadith of Muhammad that yes, this is story is true because even the prophet, he said that shaitan, he lay eggs. So this is not a statement only of, of, of uh, scholars. Even the prophet he confirmed, and you see here in Arabic, okay. <coughs> let us see, let, let's see in Arabic what it says. لا تكون أول من يدخل الشيطان يدخل السوق ولا آخر من يخرج منها فيها بعض الشيطان وفرق. Don't be the first who enter the market first, and not the last one. For shaitan he lay his eggs, and their eggs his, they hatch in. So Muhammad is saying them you should not enter the market at the beginning. I don't know what does that mean. I mean this is stupid. 
what shaitan lay in why he laid, laid eggs in the market i mean <laughs> and what will happen if i enter the first or i leave the last what will happen exactly i will go out with some eggs <laughs> man 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 what a story it's a crazy this is this Verstehst du jetzt, warum ich gesagt habe, wenn die Muslime aufrichtig und ehrlich wären und die Tafsire und die Geschichten im Islam durchgehen, sie würden heute noch den Islam verlassen, siehst du? Was meinst du, wenn keiner sich traut, da eine Debatte gegen den zu führen? Weil der Arabisch spricht und sich perfekt auskennt. Deswegen, und die Muslime sind so wie Schlangen und suchen nicht äh, Menschen aus, die, sich, die nicht Arabisch sprechen und den Islam nicht studiert haben. Verstehst du, was ich meine? Wie kommt das Problem? I say to him, uh, Amir, uh, the, the, the Amir, most yeah, Amir, when we uh, go to Germany, I want to I wanna meet with you and uh, and Ili. I, I think it's going to be fun to meet together. And uh, uh, it's going to be uh, uh, a hilarious, uh, you know, uh, like teaching. So if we if we can actually get some uh, some group of Christians to come and join us and they can ask whatever questions they want, I would be happy to do that, you know? Because, it, Amen. because you see, the, the Muslims, they use something against you that you don't speak Arabic. That is the whole story. Yeah, you know. This is exactly what but I'm saying. Otherwise, to him. otherwise, if you speak Arabic, you will, you know, like yeah. I took me many years to learn what I learned, but you can do it too. I, I mean, you guys are still young. You can read and study. It's not a big deal. But the main, the main key is they can say you are a liar because you don't speak Arabic, and they, they, will, they will come. They will come to challenge you, saying, "Prove it to us," because they know you don't speak Arabic. But yes, and when you show it to them from their books, they say, Oh, this guy wouldn't accept him, or they will say this is weak. This is the only way excuse to run away. But as yeah. you see here, there's nothing to say it's weak. The Quran confirmed that Shaitan had babies. I challenge any Muslim now to tell me how Shaitan get his babies. Ja, wie legt denn, wie macht denn Shaitan diese Babys? Verstehst du, was ich meine? Und Al-Qurtubi, da hat er gerade den Tafsir von Al-Qurtubi dazu gezeigt. Und Al-Qurtubi zitiert da Abu Mujahid. Und Mujahid sagt dir, dass das dann so ist, dass er sich selber halt hämmert. Verstehst du, was ich meine? Und dann 10 bis 100, 700 Eier legt. Und dann der Prophet ist ja auch noch da. Ich habe damals, ähm, hab damals in einer Debatte zu diesem Mutten gesagt, die, wenn Muslime zum Beispiel besessen werden, ja. <lacht> da, 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 habe ich dann zu der Debatte gesagt, wenn in der Sura 72 steht, dass sogar die Jins den Koran gerne anhören, die willst du dann von jemandem, der besessen wird, davon befreien. <lacht> ja, uh, he, he was stepping in the debate and he said to a Muslim, uh, how can we, uh, how can a book of God uh, have a passage which uh, demons like uh, the the Quran in Surah uh, 7-2, you know? Yeah, they, and, they, and, they, and but, but let, let, hold on, those demons, those demons, do you know where they are coming from? From Allah? No, those demons are coming from Assyria, they are Iraqi. <laughs> <laughs> not kidding. Yeah, this is what Muhammad told them. He told them that they are Assyrian, they are foreigners, okay? Now, the, the funny, nobody saw them. Muhammad, he took them and he, he showed them that there was, a, there was a fire, but he was there. He told them I was here sitting with them and I was reciting Quran and they said, we never heard something like this. And Muhammad, he make a verse about it in the Quran. Then they asked him, where are those, those, uh, those uh, genie coming from? He said, they are from Iraq. They are Aramaic. They are Sabian. <laughs> You know, I, in, the, in, in the other day, I saw some uh, some genie from Germany. It called Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> Stupidity. What I can say, I don't know. Yeah, uh, we will do I'm very happy about it when you are coming to Germany to meet us, you know. Yeah, I will update you. I will update you when I'm coming. You know, I will let you know. Soon, soon. Soon, soon you will see me. You know, because okay, I'm, 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 uh, I am invited already uh, by some people there to, to do some work. 
so I will not stay really in Germany for long but I will I will go uh, uh, I will go to Germany and some other countries too perfect brother yeah so forget that. and I will bring my yeah, I will bring my genie that. with me <laughs> my Assyrian genie I will, I will bring some shamoon with me he's a Syrian <laughs> <laughs> Ganz ich Ihnen gerne sagen, dass ich jetzt die Tage mache ich von seinem Buch äh, Werbung, wie er wissenschaftlich ja. Koranbuch unter, unter die Lupe. Ja. Und genau. Das heißt, wenn er, äh, ich mache jetzt, ich, ich weiß nicht, wann nächste Woche mache ich äh, darüber ein Video. Okay. Uh, he, he said uh, that he will make a video on his um, YouTube channel. And uh, he will promote your book, uh, Quran and Science and Death, in uh, German. Uh, I will make it too. Maybe we can uh, make it with Brother uh, Elia uh, together that we make a, a conversation about this book and we speak about it and we read a little bit about it. And maybe we know we don't know uh, what we are doing. Yeah, maybe he making a single video or I making a single video. Or we both talk about it, you know? Yeah, uh, 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 let Eli get the book because he needs it anyway for for uh, for his debates. And uh, he can always use the book in his videos when he make videos to show them, you know, this is the reference. And the challenge is anyone he says to him, it's a lie, anyone. Okay. Tell him if it's a lie, are you willing right now to challenge a Christian prince to have a live debate with him? And I want you, I want you to get him busted. Either Christian Prince is a liar and we will laugh at him, or you are the liar and you are a coward, you want to debate him. So anyone he says to you that what is written there is a lie, challenge him. Okay, let me translate. Also, wenn du das Buch vorstellst und etwas daraus vorliest und du Referenzen daraus vorliest, dann sagst du, wenn das nicht stimmt und du der Meinung bist, dass das eine Lüge ist, komm und sag das dem Bruder Christian Prince. Dann werden wir mal sehen, ob das wahr ist oder nicht. Ja, okay. immer, immer, immer erwähnen, wenn du aus seinem Buch zitierst, ich werde das demnächst auch machen, dann sage ich Muslime, wenn ihr behauptet, dass das eine Lüge ist, ich fordere euch auf, kommt in den Raum und dann werden wir darüber diskutieren. Lauft nicht weg vor der Wahrheit. Ja? Yeah, if somebody, if somebody claimed, if somebody claimed to, uh, to know how to dive, the only way to prove that he know how to dive or not is to bring him to the water. Yes, and the perfect. Muslims, yeah. the Muslims will debate you about. They, they will challenge you about diving in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, they are so sneaky, and I'm very, very, very sad about this. Uh, these guys, you know, they are, um, they go so uh, uh, destructive with his souls. You know. Yeah, but uh, but <laughs> what you see, they they might they might look like they are denying and accuse you of lying. But this is very normal. Sooner or later, the deep Islam. Trust me. You know, there, there's there's a guy. He go in the ABN TV. He's an African American. He used to come to my mm -hmm. chat room and he used to call me, and say, "Liar, you are lying. That's not true. There's no way." Blah blah blah. And later he became an anti-Islam, and now he is preaching about Jesus and he exposes Islam. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, it's very normal for people to say to you, "You're lying." People, people, they rejected Jesus too in the time of Jesus. So you are yeah. you and me are and or Eli are not better to do better than the Messiah himself. So uh, the Messiah himself was rejected by many. But the the the, the you do your you, you do your job and you do your duty and the drop of water sometime or most of the time if it is consistent can open a hole in the most hard rock. And this is what we do here. We show them the truth and the truth will set them free. Amen. Amen. And, and and as we say, anyone he will say something. With, we are we are lying. Prove us. We are here. I am here always. Like I stay here for how many hours? And I keep saying, Everything. yeah. yeah. I keep saying <laughs> the most the most repeated word I say. Any Muslim, I have my Skype open. People they can call me. Like now you have a new name. You, I did not add, uh, need to add you. I, you call me with a new name, right? Eli uh, uh, uh -huh. he called me. I don't have I don't have his name in Skype. Which means my Skype is open. People they call call me live anytime. I don't have like because you can put a privacy where only people who they are your friends can call you. But both of you today call me. I don't have your name in Skype. You call me with a new name in Skype. I do not know it. And Eli he called me the same way. So Muslims, anyone can call me anytime. And if I am lying, prove me to be a liar. Like now we did read yeah. about about the the eggs of shaitan. Is that my book? Is that me who's saying that? I just read for you in Arabic. 
and the link is there and the website is the Saudi government website if they are lying this is their business if you Muslims are a bunch of liars you have you wrote about your prophet lies this is your business not my business yes and when Muhammad yes. he say when Muhammad he said in the hadith that shaitan he command him nothing but to do good how a Muslim can explain to me that shaitan is commanding a prophet of God what does that mean mm -hmm. He's a prophet. Why? Why Shaitan don't command anyone else? Remember, the, remember Muhammad. Uh, in the Quran, he said that nobody have, according to the Quran, nobody have authority. Uh, uh, Shaitan, he have no authority over the believer, except the one who they are, the losers, the the bad, the criminals. So how Muhammad, uh, how Muhammad suffer from this issue? If he is not from the loser, if he's a prophet, you know what I mean. Mm. If 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 the Quran yeah. confirm only the bad ones, they follow thee, follow who the yeah. shaitan. So how only the bad one follow thee? But Muhammad, he was was possessed by the devil. Mm. It's like in the hadith, brother, where uh, Muhammad say, if you eat uh, some. Uh, uh, dates, you, what is that? And uh, uh, truth, or what is that? And uh, no magic, no poison will harm you. Yeah, but this is more seven. Important. But but this is more important. Yeah, he said in the hadith that if you eat seven ajwa, you you know ajwa. Yeah, seven ajwa. But this is more important. If you go to chapter fifteen, verse number forty-two, if we go there, you will find that Muhammad he said, chapter fifteen, verse number forty-two, he, he said uh, Allah said supposedly Allah is talking. Allah is talking. He says that hmm. nobody can, nobody will follow. You have no authority over my followers. Except, mm -hmm. except the criminals. Right? Also, you speak in the Quran and you say, you have no authority over my religion outside the criminals. So then we need to ask ourselves if, if the Quran confirm that you, Shaitan, you have no authority over my servant except the bad ones, the wrong one, the one who follow thee. How Shaitan was able to throw in the mouth of Muhammad? How Shaitan mm. is able to command Muhammad? As Muhammad himself, he you know he say clearly in the Hadith that Shaitan command him to do good. This is from the Quran. You have no authority over my servant except the one who follow thee. Yeah, I understand the surah. Yeah, I understand the surah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how how this can happen? If I am not going to follow Shaitan, unless Unless I am the bad person, and Allah you said, know. "You have no authority over the good ones of mine," which means, as long they are they are my servants, you have no authority over them. You have authority only over those who don't worship Allah. This is what it's meant. If you go to the interpretation, it means that Shaitan have no authority over the believers. He have authority over only the disbelievers. So Muhammad was a believer or disbeliever? <laughs> this is the big question. <laughs> You know, we can we can continue showing tons of verses about those stories. It's a it's like you know all the Quran. The Quran is a, is a chain of stupid stories, and the more the more you you read them, you know, like as an example, the Muslim they say to you that uh, uh, worshiping idols is haram in Islam, correct? Yes. Okay. How how worshiping idols is haram in Islam? And they mention to you uh, 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 some people making idols, and then the Quran says. The, uh, the Quran says in chapter 21 verse number 52 in chapter of the Ambiya that Abraham he said to his father Why you are worshiping why you guys are worshiping status, but then we will find in chapter 4, 34 verse number 13 chapter 34 34 verse number 13 44 34 34 3 4 uh, 34 yeah verse number 13 uh, so the verse 13 yeah. yeah, yeah, we find that uh, according to the story that uh, Suleiman he have a control of the genie and the genie make for him statues. Do you see it? <laughs> they made for yeah. him, they made for him what he willed, which means this is his wish. The wish of Allah is the wish of Suleiman. They made for him synagogues, statues. You see, all statues passing like wills. So Shaitan, Shaitan is a good person. He is serving Allah and he is making statues for Allah. 
<laughs> if you read the interpretation, the Muslim they will say to you, at that time it was okay. <laughs> Again, what the hell? <laughs> at that time <laughs> it was okay. Okay, you 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 you, you see the interpretation. You ask them, okay. What is the status was for? They will say it was a status of the prophets. They make status for the prophet Suleiman. He makes status for the prophet. For what? To worship them. So the Muslims, the problem with the Muslims, they do not know what is written in their books. Everything they accuse mm -hmm. you, everything they accuse you with, they have it in their book. They accuse us that we are lying. Lying is halal in Islam. They accuse us of fornication. Yeah. Fornication is halal in Islam. They accuse us of, of theft. Theft is halal in Islam. They accuse you that you don't fast. They are the one who don't fast. Ramadan is not a fast in Ramadan. Just you switch day and night. They get fat in Ramadan. You know? Pe people don't lose weight in Ramadan. People get fat and the price of food go crazy. You know? Mm -hmm. If you get fat in Ramadan and the price gehen in the Höhe and when wahnsinnig, the wahnsinnig, the if you if you go if you go in the Middle East, you will see the price of food in the month of Ramadan as soon as going to come goes a three four time more. Why? Because people are buying more, not because they are fasting. If people are fasting from gas, the gas will go down. <laughs> you know what I mean? If people are not eating, if nobody wanna eat uh, uh, too much, the price of food will go down. Not the opposite, but because the demand is high, everybody is buying more food. People, they are just have in the, the month of Ramadan is the month of eating good food, not the month of fasting. <laughs> you know, and not only that, yes. they, they spend the day sleeping and they spend the day, the night eating and watching porn. So, <laughs> they, yeah, this is the truth. This is the truth. I remember when I was in the Middle East. One day, I went. I, uh, you know, we have like in in the in the house of my parents, we have like a terrace, have a flowers and roses. You know. So I, I was sitting there and I look at the neighbors. Everybody is changing the direction of the satellite. I was I was saying like, what happened? Why everybody? Because usually it might happen that a guy working with his satellite because maybe something wrong with the satellite. But suddenly everybody in the roof working in the satellite, I did not get it. I, I did not think about it much. Then after a few days, I was working with a bunch of guys and they were asking each other, did you... Do you guys change the satellite direction? I said, why? Why you guys change? Uh, what happened? Did it stop working? He said, yeah, no, it's not. It's not working. But everybody was changing the direction because the porn channels they switched to different satellite. <laughs> the whole city in the roof. The whole city is up the roof. Everybody is a changing direction of satellite. Everybody, the shake, the young, the the old. Everybody is in the roof is switching the satellite direction. That's mean nobody is watching satellite sport. They are watching porn, you know. So, <laughs> but, but they, but they lecture. Okay, Bruder Herz, kannst du ihm sagen, dass ich jetzt schlafen gehen muss? Okay, okay. Uh, Brother Michael is going now to uh, a little bit sleeping. He's yeah, very actually, tired. Actually, we we are we are done for today too. I I appreciate you both. Thank you very much. And don't forget, okay, don't, I, I wish I can give you the book as a gift, but I don't have any copy, you know, <laughs> and it might take six months before you have it. <laughs> so no, you better get from Amazon. No. And the, when you make videos, when you make videos, if you wanna, if you want me to join your life in the in the videos you wanna make for reviewing my book, I would be happy to do so. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. When we über sein Buch reden, dann können wir ihn auch einladen live zu. Du machst immer live Ausstellung. Dann kannst du ihn auch gerne einladen. Dann kannst du ihn schreiben. Dann und dann gehen wir live und dann gehen wir auch mit deinem Kanal alle live. Weißt du, ich meine, Ruth und Ruth sind zur Debatte. Ja, yeah. yeah. okay, gerne. Und dann sicher, weißt du, ich kann auch direkt alles zeigen, weißt du, was ich meine? Ja, okay, können wir gerne machen. Sollen wir das einfach planen, einfach auf nächste Woche? Ja, yeah. uh, he will, uh, brother, uh, he will make a date a fix for a live stream and then we go uh, to uh, you. Uh, brother Michael and I are uh, going live and talk about a little bit about Islam and Jesus and Christianity. And actually, Islam. actually, if you want, if you want, uh, I can make a special day for the German channel, your channel, not my channel, and I can join okay. you as a guest. Any always, if you want, you can have me as a support. You guys talk, but okay. you know, if you want my support to prove something, to show reference, I can join okay. you. So we can work together as a team, and that can be a work for the German people. Have nothing to do. With the people who speak, which means you can speak all the time in German, yeah. 
except when you want me to talk you can ask me to speak in english and you translate to the to the german you know what i mean uh, uh, which okay. means, which means you don't have to speak even in 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 english to me i will sit listen until you call me and you say which, which means hey hey christian are you there you know can you ah. can you give us reference for this that's all so you speak the whole time in german don't worry about me i will be joining you until you need me in something or maybe you receive a question from a muslim and then we we do the, the shish kebab <laughs> Ja, also der Bruder meinte, wir können ein äh, Datum dann festlegen, in dem wir dann äh, du und ich dann live gehen und er wird dann mit live kommen und dann werden wir darüber äh, sprechen und vielleicht Muslime einladen zu einer Debatte und wenn wir dann äh, so zum Beispiel äh, Referenten brauchen oder Quellenangaben, dann wird er sofort zu par parat sein und sofort äh, uns die Quellenangaben geben. Es wird hart, es wird so wie Jeffs verpassen. <lacht> ja, gerne, gerne. Können wir gerne machen. Wir können ja auf jeden Fall mal so planen, dass wir alle drei gemeinsam zum, äh, zusammengehen und quasi sein Buch dann auch vorstellen. Und genau, das machen wir. Äh, dann müssen wir einen Termin festlegen. Äh, vielleicht äh, morgen oder übermorgen oder sowas. Gucken wir mal. Aber nee, wir haben noch nicht das, nicht das Buch. Wir müssen erstmal das Buch haben. Ja, ist überhaupt ja, kein Problem. Wir können. Copy from your book. And then we uh, send you a date in which we are going to search uh, in a live discussion. Yeah, and as I said, uh, remind Eli, if you guys want to make a day, you both you do podcasts. I just will be in your like uh, just to support for you. I will be always mm -hmm. there. I will be happy to do so. You know, you speak yeah. the, whole, the whole time. You speak in German. Only if you need me to prove something, then I will be involved, and then you translate. Which means all the time you speak German, mm -hmm. you do not need to translate for me unless you need me. All right. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Eddie, for calling us. God yeah. bless. Okay. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you for your patience, brother. Take care. God bless. Take care. God bless. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. All right. It was wonderful to have those two brothers. They are funny, and they, it's it's a. Uh, uh, you see, actually, I appreciate both of them. Maybe most of you do not know that those two, those two, are doing a great job. Both of them, like I wish that uh, uh, Eli he speak uh, you know uh, English, so I can communicate with him better. But both of them they do a great job to preach to people, to tell them the truth, to share to share about the Messiah, and they take a lot of attacks from the Muslims. This is why, if you know their channel, subscribe to their channel, support them, and they bring them more people who speak German, uh, so we can show them support for what they do. They are wonderful people, and they are really I really appreciate them. Uh, all of us, we fight for one reason. We fight because we love the Muslims, not because we hate them. None of those brothers, he hate the Muslims. And we will never hate them. Our brother Emiro himself, he was a Muslim one day. So how we can hate someone? The Messiah himself, he wanted to save him. The Bible says, a happiness will be in the kingdom of God. A happiness. For one soul is saved, just one. This is how priceless the soul of a human being for God. And that the soul of everybody, including the Muslims. Muslims are not the enemy of God. Our Lord, the Messiah, he loved them. And he want them to be saved. And he sent those people. He used us so we can reach out to the Muslims. We are not here to make fun of Muslims. We are here to make fun of the devil. The Muslims are victims. If they knew what they are worshipping, they will not worship. So we love the Muslims. We don't hate them. And we will never allow anyone to teach hate against anyone. Our message is the message of the Messiah. And the message of the Messiah is a message of love. Love your enemy. Bless those who curse you. Sometimes we might get upset. We get angry with the violence and terrorism and etc. But at the end of the day, still, we need to remember that the Messiah, when he was on the cross, in the cross, he said, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. This is how amazing our Messiah. When the Muslims they speak about Muhammad as the best of mankind, he was the worst of mankind. You want to see the best of the best, not only in earth, but in heaven. That is the Messiah. 
the person who forgive not only he taught us to forgive he forgive himself those who crucify him imagine you are in the cross you have nails in your hands nails in your feet and they are killing you yet you are worried about them and you say father forgive them they do not know that is the best to follow and this is why i say to the muslims find me better than jesus and i will leave him you cannot in the year 2018 you cannot find someone saying love your enemy no human right no united nation not all those uh, bring me confessions bring me the buddhas bring me nobody said that the messiah is before any time his wisdom is amazing if the whole world practice just two sentences of the messiah teaching the world the earth we live in is heaven imagine if you practice just one statement love your enemy there's no crimes there's no killing there's no hunger because you love them when you love you share you give there's no need for police there's no need for army there's no need for defense there's no need for security there's no need for bars in your windows if everybody love everybody that is the message of the messiah it is to make this earth heaven by heavenly people but the earth refusing him the earth don't want heaven and earth the earth want deception and lies today i went to our, our, our application it's called life me and i did broadcast i did not tell you about it i said to myself let me try i got 37 people watching and there was a girl she was wearing a short she have almost 35,000 people watching life we are very close i am 35 37 she is 35 but the difference is she have three zeros next or four zeros so tens of thousands watching a woman wearing a short and i am the person coming to teach them about the truth only few people they are watching this is how the world is the devil is more popular so if a muslim try to make islam more popular for that is of the devil to have more women islam is about sex sex on earth sex in heaven muta on earth you can rent women in heaven you can hire women in heaven you can sleep in heaven even with your sister even with your grandmother with your niece with you with, with the daughter of your brother everybody is available for sex tens of thousands of women for sex that cannot be from god that is from a pimp that is from a pimp from las vegas even a pimp in las vegas he will not go exaggerate and tell you i will give you tens of thousands of little children and women that cannot be god god is holy his name is holy his ethic is holy his teaching is holy for he is holy and that is the messiah the lord the one who said in the bible who of you can prove me to be a sinner and nobody dare to so so to say so even the muslims in the quran in chapter 19 verse 19 says that jesus is the holy son of mary and when we ask the muslims why jesus have no father they have no answer they give you a stupid answer saying so is adam but adam is not born you idiot jesus is born why only from the whole universe there's only one person don't have a father but yet he is born they cannot give you the answer for islam was a fake religion trying to copy some of a christianity to make itself valid this is why you will not see a muslim making fun of us for believing that mary she was a virgin not because it's logical for the muslims but because the quran said so have you ever seen a muslim making fun of you for saying mary was virgin nobody make fun of that not because it's logical imagine if the quran never said that they will be making fun of you they will say you are stupid they will say how a woman she can give birth without a man you idiot stupid are you stupid or what just because muhammad he said yes this is what happened they agree but they cannot explain to us why why and that is the question and we know why thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you all and until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord and Islam 
is a bad ugly cult and here we expose it every day join us subscribe and tell your friends about what we do and about my books about my videos and if you want to contact me please feel free there's always a link in the info to do so thank you and god bless see you soon bye bye